Okay, ladies and gents, welcome to another best of five. I believe these are the colors they've rolled with, so we're actually going to see more red and more blue. Um, and this is between two amazing players. Two players that can easily make it past the qualifiers and into the main event of Hidden Cup. I'm going to get a few things out of the way because this would be the beginning of the YouTube video. Um, also, this might be the first time someone has seen the beginning of a set in the qualifiers. So, um, eight players are already in the main event for Hidden Cup 3. All the best players you probably know. So we have Viper, we have Tato, we have Yo, we have Vivi, we have Hera, we have MBL, we have Max and Leary. Those eight players are already guaranteed a spot in the main event for Hidden Cup. Um, but 32 other players are looking to qualify for the final eight spots. And that's what we're watching here, okay? Uh, the main event for Hidden Cup, it will be March 19th through the 22nd. And all the players will be playing with Hidden Identities. So right now, we know that Lix is Lix and Zoopy is Zoopy. But when we're casting the main event, we do not know who the players are, which adds an extra element to it. And they also don't know who they're playing against. So Lix, he has gone for Chinese for Game 1 Arabia. And we have... Um, is that Aztecs for Zoopy? What is that? I should be able to tell. It looks like Aztecs. He's not supposed to have Aztecs. Wasn't okay. Didn't he globally ban Aztecs? Oh. Robo says I put Civ bans wrong. Oh, okay. Robo put Civ bans wrong. All right. So I don't know what he globally banned, but apparently it wasn't Aztecs because, well, he wouldn't be able to pick Aztecs. <laughs> um... Game 1's Arabia, Game 2, 3, 4, and 5 will be played on home maps that they pick from our 11 map pool. Um, Chinese versus Aztecs, though, pretty close. Map is, uh, it's a bit awkward for Zupi, isn't it? I mean, the gold could be more than fine. The players are just so close together. This wood line's a bit peculiar, but, you know, you have the main gold, the second gold forward. This gold's fine for a town center later. This stone's fine, the berry's all good. Um... I like Lix's wall potential. What I don't like, though, is that he's walling himself into the corner. And there could be some heavy pressure there. T90, why those eight players were picked first? They played the last Hidden Cup? Question mark. Um, no, more players played in the last Hidden Cup. We asked every participant in Hidden Cup 2 to rank their top eight. And those were the top eight we got after getting players' opinions. So, um, we felt like... It would be unfair to put everyone in the qualifier for the simple reason that a lot of the a lot of really solid players will get knocked out by like the Viper, Tato, and, and whatnot. And so you'd have like solid players who would just get unfortunate with the qualifier bracket. So we think it's a really good method. And most pros that I talk to uh, who are in the qualifier feel like they'll be better off after having to fight through the qualifier because they get experience on the maps and get a feel for how they think things should be played out. So yeah, that's basically how it works. T90 official, have you ever considered partaking in a local LAN tournament in Pakistan? Um, have to say, that's never once crossed my mind. Um, and I don't know if that's for me, but maybe someday. I'm not ruling it out. T90, why should you not go for straggler trees around TC? You always say not to, but I don't know why. Well, because it's inefficient. So these trees actually... I'll actually focus on straggler trees here if you want to see. It's just because it's inefficient. You start with the wood to build a lumber camp. You build the lumber camp, these villagers are a whole lot more efficient than if you're walking long distances for stragglers. Stragglers actually become very helpful later on. Um, where is Lix going here? And that villager is loomed, and Zupi still wants to fight. Interesting. And Zupi will delay the walls. The Chinese normally go for heavy walls. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll point out when stragglers are used at a high level normally, but it's just better to get the lumber camp up. <clears throat> T90 official, does Max deserve an automatic spot given his recent inactivity? Max deserves an automatic spot if 16 pro players vote him as in the top 8, yes. <laughs> like, Max, Max is a solid player. I think there are players out there, like Nikov, Doubt are the two that come to mind. Maybe even Velez, who are very close. The reality is, if you're- Oh, this is a drush from Zoopy! This is a drush from Zoopy! No wonder he wants to keep this open! Can he keep it open? I don't think Lix was expecting this. Uh, that scout could be a goner for Lix, and this could actually be really bad for Lix, because Lix is on his way to Feudal Age, and he was hoping to take advantage of the cliffs and wall up. 
And Zoopy said, not today. I'm sending in a Drush to delay you. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean, there are a lot of players in the qualifier who are very, very good. If they're that good, you know what they can do? They can qualify. Would you guys agree with that? <laughs> I, I would agree with that. Listen, if you don't believe me, I've spoken to three of the eight players who are in who said that playing in the qualifier would actually benefit them because they would get the practice. They would get a feel for the games. They'd get some tournament experience. As opposed to right now, they're like, oh, I'm in the event. I don't really need to do much. Don't need to train, and they might not get as much practice time. Yeah, so here is where you see a lot of pro players use stragglers because these villagers, um, they're not villagers you want long term on wood. So you'll see players send their uh, villagers to stragglers here and then eventually farm. But, you know, Lix arrives in Feudal Age. He did not get to get those aggressive walls that he wanted. And he also just lost his scout to Zupi's TC. So, strong start for Zupi, I have to say. And Zupi is definitely not going for Fast Castle behind this. He's actually going to make more militia. Man, this is so good from Zupi. He's going to make more militia to camp this area and continue to apply pressure. T90, isn't it unfair for Huang to play against Doubt in the qualifiers? No. At this point, I don't know if people are trolling and they, or they have genuine questions. But, but Huang is... As much as I love Huang... He's a 30, I think he's 31 seed for a reason. And so, like, Huang, honestly, sorry, Huang fans, I'm a huge Huang fan. He should never beat Doubt in the best of five. I think he could get a game, he could possibly get two, but Doubt should crush Huang. And the, Huang, the reality is Huang should really never make it into top 16 for Hidden Cup. It's so competitive. Doubt won't be happy to play against Huang, right? Because Huang can really give people trouble, but I, I don't think that uh, it's it's unfair. It's it's just how tournaments work, you know? Man, so when I first saw the maps, how many people felt like Zoopies was way worse? I felt like Zoopies, it wasn't it wasn't awful, but it wasn't great either. And I felt like Lix, if he got walls up, it'd be incredible. But Zoopy read the map, had a lot of early pressure, and now a sneaky tower on the wood line. He's delixing Lix right now. Okay, I probably shouldn't say he's lick. Yeah, he's not licking anything, all right? It's just Lix is known for forward towers himself, which is what I meant by that. Yep, it demanded full aggro. That's what he did. And he also defends with Spearman, and that tower surprises Lix. That's, that's really good play. So Lix not only needs to repair that barracks to keep the units out, which costs wood, he now is not chopping wood as quickly. Or as efficiently, so not bad. Man, Zoopy came out freaking strong here. He came out he he came out ready to play. <clears throat> Won't most players besides Huang be playing extremely conservatively in Hidden Cup? I'd expect Huang's aggression to potentially take others by surprise. Um Graham, it's it there's so many different player styles. The thing is, everyone knows Huang. Like, if Huang makes it into the main event of Hidden Cup, then it will catch people by surprise. But he has to be Doubt in a best of five, which is going to be tough. Man, if he beats Doubt in the best of five, I, he, I would say that he could probably then beat Tim in a best of seven, so... Um, yeah, like, for the memes, how funny would it be if Rubenstock and Huang made it into the main event of Hidden Cup? All of a sudden, you see someone playing like Huang with the sneak bills. All of a sudden, you see someone... TC drop. Oh man. That would be incredible. I really don't love this tower for Lix. Why not tower the hill here? That's a confusing tower, but he does have a range. He's making some skirms and an archer or two, but Zoopy's pretty confident here. He's full walled at home. The scouts have done virtually nothing for Lix, and he's, he's so confident he's even mining that stone forward. I think honestly, Zoopy just needs to keep. It probably should mix in some skirms and some eagles and keep his numbers up and just hold this position and and see where it takes him from here. There's not many other areas he can really hit right now. I don't love the forward mining camp though. Like it tells me he feels like he's going to hold this. But uh maybe could have just sent the villagers home or walled in the stone or something. 
<laughs> T90 official, how is Hera not in the top eight? He is in the top eight. That's why he's in the eight names I mentioned. Chat, you're killing me right now. I love you to death, but you're killing me. <laughs> Like, I don't know if there's anyone out there who has children, but I imagine that, like, you know how you, like, have to repeat yourself 20 times? Like, no, don't touch that, child. No, don't touch that. We're not buying that. No. Like, that's... That's sometimes what chat can be like when it comes to the settings of this tournament, apparently. I love you guys. I love you like a child. That means I'd, I'd literally die for you, chat, but... So, skirmishers have fletching for Zoopy. Skirmishers do have fletching for licks, and it's a lot about micro now. Okay, and now Zoopy wants to place a tower here. I think since Lix is on stone, he'll just counter tower here. I'd be very surprised if he does not try and counter tower, but it's also a bit awkward because of this farm. If this farm wasn't here, I think he counter towers there. His his villagers are kind of in range of the range units of Zoopy. The scouts are coming back from Lix. We haven't seen these in a while, and oh boy! He could pick off the Vills, and he picks off one. Not the strongest start for Lix, but I think he stabilized well. Very well played. Has gold, has his farms, has wood, has stone, has everything he would need. And I think this composition is, is deadly at the moment. Um, you'll probably see Zoopy think long term about Eagles, because going skirms when your opponent has a stable is a risky, risky game to play. It's a lot of infantry there, though. Uh, so I think Lix probably can't push out now, and he loses two skirms. His man-at-arms have done so much for Zoopy in this game. So what we really need to keep an eye on now, because the game is not going to end here, it's going to be how many resources do the players have? When are they going to click up to the next stage? What are their army numbers looking like? Zoopy has more army numbers, but I think all he's really concerned with is... Um, well, I'm not sure, actually. Because we haven't seen a second barracks or second archer range yet, and he's still making skirms. But the man-at-arms, certainly, that number has helped for now, but it's not going to be as important long-term. Zoopy's getting close to clicking up, and so is Lix. So this is very close. Uh, we're looking at 9 kills for Zoopy and 12 deaths. But I, I said this at the start. Yes, this looks pretty, but Lix is backed into a corner. This hill could be very important in the Castle Age. T90 official, why is Fatsob not in the top 8? Because he wanted to give everyone else a chance. That's why. <laughs> I actually have a Fatsob game to cast for YouTube next week, I think. It's pretty good. Hmm... We should just get Fatslob to co-cast, guys. Do you want to hear what it's like to have Fatslob co-cast? Did you know how he never talks? All right, this is this is what it sounds like. Fatslob, what do you think about the current position for Licks? All right, uh, Fatslob, what do you think about this villager dying on the front? Is that sloppy? So pretty much any time I have dead air, I'm co-casting with Fatslob. So there you go. <laughs> that's up confirmed. Now that's the meme that we used to use with doubt. Like, I remember, I still remember Dave and I making this joke. What, like a couple years ago, doubt didn't talk to anyone. There was no team speak. There was no Discord. He was always silent. He he barely talked in game rooms. And now he's just like, now he's the Lord. It's crazy, man. Yeah, those skirmishers. I I don't think they matter all that much now to Lix, but. Uh, they mattered to their family, and most of them have died now. Definitely gonna be uh, eagles, so three barracks for Zoopy. He's going eagles, which is why it surprised me he produced more skirmishers. And with eagles, we'll probably see a monastery and some monks and maybe even some siege to pressure on this hill. Second TC now for Lix. 45 villagers for both. Guys, this series is going to be crazy. Um... This is going to be a very long day. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a very long day. We have this best of five, and then we have Lan versus Cloud, where I think Lan is, is more favored than any of the players are in this set. I think this one's pretty much 50-50, but... I wish I, I wish I knew how much Zoopy was playing right now. And I wish I knew... Oh, beautiful castle spot for Lix. 
Again, he still has stone, he still has wood, he has a TC on the gold, he'll be fine, man. And the castle will pretty much stop any siege that Zupi's looking to push with. But, um, I, I wish I knew if Zupi was training with Max, or Vlez, or Rubenstock, or what the Finnish guys were up to. I know Zupi was away for like three months. And I guess he returned recently, because I know he was doing some outdoors work, so... I should have asked around a little bit more. Yupe says he's not training. Oh, Yupe's right there. Alright, Yupe says he's not training. When did he return from his his hiatus, Yupe? Obviously, it had to be a, a few weeks before the signups closed. Think he's caught in his work still. You think he's still at work? Doesn't he? I thought he was a tour guide. Is he playing on a laptop out in the wilderness? <laughs> I thought he was a tour guide or something. That's all. That is so finished, man. He's like, all right, uh, guys, I'm going to leave you, lead you to this trail. Uh, enjoy the wilderness. Don't get eaten by any bears. And hold on. Don't freak out. All right. It's his internet connection cut off on the mountain. All right. Uh, we have another file. There was apparently a restore that was needed. So chat, on a very serious note, can we please thank DE? Because now we can spectate restores. Which was not possible before. So, players can save. Okay. They can save. They can restore. And we can spectate. Restores. So, thanks to E. A very serious note. Thanks to E for that. Because that was a big, big thing that was needed and we asked them for before this tournament. Uh, let me make sure that I have the right file. Yep, here we go. Here we have it. That's huge. Thank you, Microsoft, for listening. So, 55 villagers for licks. Um, I just wonder how important this area is going- Whoa! Whoa, we had knights over here and Zoopy quickwalled, okay. Um, I wonder how important this area is really going to be throughout this game. Uh, there you go, guys. Everything looks good. Three TCs for licks. Just soaking up the pressure, he's making Chukuno and he still has the knights. Which is pretty dangerous. That's a lot of eagles, though, for Zupi. <clears throat> Why is Black Forest in the map pool? Isn't it too slow for pro games? Uh, you mean the ranked map pool? Or you mean the map pool for Hidden Cup? Oof, actually, the Mango did some friendly fire damage there. Guard towers come in, which is no surprise to me. I think Zupi could be overextending. The Knights suddenly come in. I don't think he was expecting the Knights to be here. He loses his Mango to the guard tower. He does get a conversion on a very weak night, and he also goes in for the raid, but Lix with the quick walls! Man, I've never known Lix, I don't think Lix has ever been known as a fast player, but that was a quick reaction. He swooped in, he took a very good fight, and then he housewalled his Lumberjacks, and the knight should be coming over to deal with this, and so I think Lix has a slight lead in this game now. Nice decision to go guard tower. I think if Zupi saw more than one tower for licks, I think it was probably a mistake to go forward, because you have to expect he has stone then, you have to expect he can go for a castle, you have to expect he can go for what he's currently going for. Instead, I think if you just mask the eagles, take some map control, and try and... It's tough, but try and defend this hill somehow. I guess the hill is, is just as good for bushing as it is defending, but... Okay. Well, with Aztecs, I normally talk a lot about getting relics. And Zupi does not have any relics. For Chinese, I normally talk about keeping Chuko Nu alive, and boom! Big shot for Zupi. That's exactly what he needed, too, because he just fell a bit behind. He does have the villager lead. There's Chuko Nu. Many of them are weak, though. And they will fall back to the castle. So it wasn't as bad as it could have been. In fact, in the end, it was Zupi who lost more. And over here as well. 400 stone for Lix, and he has about... Well, he has 6 stone remaining, so he does not have enough stone for another castle right now. What's Zupi up to? Three town centers producing, has more vills. I don't think he was expecting there to be a siege workshop there, but he did spot it. Close game. Hey, honestly? 
the fact that they're so close makes Imperial Age so important. Or it actually makes going Imp a bit risky, too. Like, if you put a thousand food and eight hundred gold into the Imperial Age, and then someone floods you with Knights and Chukunu, or, or all in Eagles... I mean, it's definitely Lix who would potentially go all in here, but... Like, this might very well be a Ram. It's not. But it might very well be a Ram next. Another Barracks... You have the hill and you have monks. Is it enough eagles, though? This is a deadly composition for Lix. He gets out of here. Oh, big shot. And two conversions. Wow, those were like instant conversions as well. And the eagle will take care of that mango. And this mango still loved to fire, but Lix dodges. Man, that micro was sick. Now the Chukunu take out the, some of the monks. What a close game. 105 population for both. But still, I think Lix is more secure at home. He might not have as many villagers, but his army seems stronger now. He's taking the monks out of the picture. That's hundreds of gold down the drain for Zupi. Chukunu are an insane unit. Even in Castle Age. You don't see it frequently, but they're insane units. And combine that with knights, it's very difficult for Aztecs. Okay, and here come the rams. This is what I mean. Don't go in. Just flood units. You're so close. You have your hill back now, and you could just batter your way into Zupi's base. And so Zupi almost needs... He needs a mix of pikemen with his eagles, but unfortunately the Chukunu are there to deal with any pikemen. This is incredible from Lix. This is potentially game ending right here, guys. Lix has more military, and I don't know if the extra villagers that Zupi has is going to matter at all. Tried to take the hill, did his absolute best there. Also, like, he, he did a good job at the start. But this is a gold he needs, this is a gold he needs, and Lix is going all in. Attack upgrades coming in on the Knights now, the Rams are moving in. I think this is excellent game sense from Lix. Because you could also justify going Imperial after that fight he took. But he also knew that there was some risk associated with that. We'll just take the fight, Lix. Ooh, big mango. Oh my god, Lix! <gasps> oh, it's like his units didn't want to move there for a second. Still 126 population for both. Guys, Lix just lost all of his knights underneath the tower and the TC. He completed the extra attack, but he doesn't have many knights anymore. What's happening? Zoopy's holding on. Okay, I really think that getting the attack instead of the armor on the knights was a mistake. Because if you go for the armor there, your knights don't die as quickly to the town center. Small things like that can make a difference. That That's incredible, though. And now, since Chukunu... Well, there's not as many Chukunu out. Maybe some Pikemen can be helpful here. Full attack and defense upgrades on the infantry for Zupi. Who really needs to, to get some relics, though. Still, it's, it's so tough for him to deal with guard towers. Maybe there was... It was too aggressive there, right? Maybe it was a bit too aggressive for Lix, but... You know, the armor upgrades coming in, it still ends up being 14 versus 13 military. And I think his military is better if it's knight versus eagle. And the map position is way better for Lix. Way better. Oh, he's also been taking the stone, which is beautiful. I don't know, Zoopy. Can you do it? Or will you just be overwhelmed? I think it's the latter. And, oh, an in-your-face castle with four villagers right between the golds. Right in the midst of all the action. I don't think that can be stopped. I do not think that castle can be stopped. And I think with that, Lix will take game one. For a moment there, it looked like he'd maybe gone too aggressive. But the production's unreal. The KD's looking good. He's safe at home. There's no reason I, I could really... He's even over here on this goal. This is beautiful from Lix. Man, these Chinese players are so good when it comes to reading the map. So good when it comes to game sense. They're also, like, fearless in tournaments, too. So if he goes further and starts facing up against some, some much better players, I, I think he could definitely be the giant killer. Uh, Zoopy's trying. It could just be game one warm-up. Uh, you know the game's over, but you continue to try anyways, just to 
to get a fuel for certain things. Um, but this this is over. 125 villagers for Lix. 105 for Zoopy. He can't take his gold. This gold will probably be castled next, knowing Lix. Lix is even out here on this stone! How does he find these things? I think it was the monk, actually. He's been getting relics, and he saw that Zoopy was out on the stone. Guys, he's about- he's bringing in his third relic, and he'll have a monk going for the fourth. This is against Aztecs. Normally, you don't see someone getting a relic lead over Aztecs. Beautiful stuff. T90, does somebody know when the 2 vs 2 World Cup is? I have absolutely no clue. Nope. T90 official, not that it matters, what's the relic count? I think I answered that question a moment ago, uh, but if you missed it, you probably didn't uh, hear my hear me mention that when you asked that question, right? Uh, Lix is way ahead in relics. Lix is also on the way to the Imperial Age, so at this point he knows, okay, I've done enough damage, I've denied a lot of golds, I'm continuing to raid the golds, Okay, the game's gonna crash. Oh no, no. Oh man, I just complimented DE for allowing us to restore the game and it crashed. Okay, well, um, bear with me guys. <laughs> bear with me. Uh, we have to, to load the game again. I, I'm really, I'm a bit worried. Because yesterday there was a demo and the game crashed, but also I don't think crashed for others. And I also don't think that, um, I don't know if it crashed for Robo either. So, I, I, this is my new PC, so I, I won't look into some things. But I have to speed through it, guys. There's no other way. Um, watch Zoopy resign immediately after, but I have to speed through it. Sorry about this. None of the wrecks crashed for me playing on fast forward, gotcha. Yeah, I don't know, I have, I have to report it, but I have some suspicions it's when I click stuff. Which is a problem for me anyways. Um, fortunately, the new thing I'll be casting with, I can click stuff and it doesn't remove. Like right now, if I click things, guys, you see how it just completely removes all the information there? It's really not good. Um, fortunately for the main event, that won't be the case. I can still click. But I think... It almost always comes in when I select units. I guess yesterday it was a demo, though. So we have to speed through. This is fine. <clears throat> this is fine. That's right, we can have a quick Q&A while we wait. I just don't see how Zoopy has any chance. Because Lix has played too good. Um, he'll have three relics when we get caught up. He'll be on his way to Imperial Age. It's just looking so strong. T90, do you think a castle from Zoopy may have changed the outcome a little? I, honestly, I don't. I'll tell you what I think Zoopy did wrong. I think committing to this stone was a mistake. Like, honestly, e even the tower, I guess the tower did something. But I think there was no reason to build the mining camp here. Just fall back and, and go into eagles and, and monks. You could argue the siege workshop on this hill wasn't too helpful either. Who's your favorite in Kaz vs. Nilly? Um, Nilly, 60-40, I would say. I, I, I would think Nilly will win 3-2 or 3-1, and then really struggle in round 2. How did you like German beer at NAC? It was alright. It was alright. German beer is better than a lot of the, the beer I drink in the States, but it wasn't, it wasn't anything to get too excited about. Um, did you try? And qualify for the qualifiers. Uh, I would not have been able to. I don't think. I don't think I'm at the level. I think I'm. I'm on the brink, but uh, I would have to be very choosy with opponents. And I want to cast, obviously. So no. Is there a specific reason you didn't make qualifying rounds hidden names as well? Yeah, because it takes away from the main event. Like after a while, hidden cup is literally four days, right? After a while, the whole hidden aspect of it just gets to be confusing and too much, right? So, not to mention, I don't think you guys realize the amount of work that's required to, to get players scheduled and to communicate with players and get them their hidden identities and all that. So it would, trust me when I say it would not be feasible. <laughs> it would not be feasible. Like, they can't communicate with each other. Admin has to set the times they play. 
Admin only communicates with them and passes messages along. Then they have to have new Steam accounts, set up the settings, get everything set up on the Steam accounts. We have to get the accounts. We have to, like, pre-select a bunch of different things. We have to get the recorded games. They can't, like... Th dude, it's like, it's nuts. It's nuts. And that's just for 16 players, so... Um, and this is me saying that, and I'm not even the one doing it. It's Robo. Okay, so sorry, I, I slowed it down a bit. So, I still feel like this is pretty over for Zuki. Like, if he had relics, maybe, then he has a chance. But I, I genuinely believe when we get caught up, we might just see the GG here. So, I think what Zupi did with the castle is going to keep him alive a bit longer. But Lix realized that he could imp. And he was on his way to imp when it dropped for us. But man, the game sense to hit this gold all the time. To hit this stone immediately after scouting it. Lix is on point here. This is really sick play. It has not been perfect play from, from Lix. There's been a... Just a few small misplays, but near perfect, man. Yes, yeah, you look. You look at Zupi. He does not have the resources to go up. Lix is already on the way to him. So I think it was just an unfortunate time for the crash for us. Yeah, the knights continue to raid. So you just raid as you produce units and prepare for the Imperial Age. And I think instead of Cavalier, we might see Light Calf. Probably light cap with two canoe makes more sense than committing more gold to Cavalier. Like, we pretty much crashed two minutes before the game ended. Whoa! Or maybe not. Kazupi's somehow on the way up. Ah, maybe he'll continue, actually. If he somehow clicked up with no gold. Is no gold. <laughs> okay, we'll slow it down a little bit here, sorry. We're, we're, I was uh, in fast forward mode. <clears throat> T90, could your spectating mod be causing the crashes? Uh, I don't think so. That's a good point, though. I'll get it over to Robo and we can test that way. That's a good point. It could be. Good thing about a qualifier from just the, the streaming point of view is we also get to iron out the kinks and pass information along to Microsoft in practice, too. So, um, But man, of course, the game ends here. The GG's called. But guys, Licks... Just think about this. He had a castle on both of the forward golds from Zupi. He had at this point four relics, and I believe he might be have been bringing the fifth one back. Uh, and he had the additional gold out here, and he was raiding this gold. That was insane. That was that that was really good from Lix. Uh, I don't think that Zupi's map did him any favors here, and I think he definitely had to be aggressive. And, and once he fell behind in Castle Age, it would be rough. Uh, I actually rate Chinese a little bit higher than Aztecs if they can get the Castle Age and get a castle up. But my goodness, my goodness, that was good. So, big aspect of this is going to be home maps. Um, there were two home maps picked. There are also civilizations banned for both players. So, the home map for Zupi, or the home maps rather, is Islands and Bay. Okay, so we could see Islands or Bay next, and then Licks had Cup and Slopes. I'm really surprised by the amount of people that are picking slopes. Was not expecting that at all. Um, because slopes is so new, I didn't think that they would have... Maybe I don't have enough faith in the pro scene, but I didn't think that they would really look at it. But uh, apparently, they did. Alright, hold on. Quick water break, guys. This is going to be a, a big marathon day. I have to make sure I'm healthy. <clears throat> Dino says is the main event live uh, just the nature of Hidden Cup we can't do live games the games are normally played um, a week or two before the final will be live but the rest of the games are all Rex obviously the only person who's ever seen the recorded games is Robo the admin so I don't receive any information so it's it's honestly better than live way better than live because we don't experience as many issues we don't experience as many stoppages and we can do this. We can go right into the next game. Uh, once the scoreboard works for me. There we go.
Robo, can you... Do you know what the global ban was for Zoopy then? Because it says Aztecs, and it was not Aztecs. I'm really curious about that. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gents, welcome to game number two between Lix and Zoopy. Zoopy took game number one. A lot of us thought... Oh, boy. <laughs> A lot of us thought that this would go to, to five games, possibly. Uh, and we have Islands, which recently has been interesting to talk about. We had that crazy game on YouTube between the Viper and between Hera, where Viper survived with fish traps, of all things. Uh, Zoopy yeah. likes Islands, all right? It's a classic map. I think the Finnish players really enjoy playing Islands. And he has gone for Japanese. In the red, Lix, he's gone for Vikings. Interesting. So uh, I just want to point out a few differences here on our version of Islands versus the difference, or sorry, versus the versions of Islands you might have seen in the past. Uh, first off, we're not going to have a situation where one island has two relics and the other has three. So we have uh, two relics here for Zoopy, two relics for Lix, and then the additional relic is in the center, which I think makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, if you're giving up water control, you should be giving up more than just the gold and the stone in the center. So there's the relic. Now, you might have seen this yesterday, but if you didn't, I have already deleted the... Neutral archer ranges. Okay, so they've been taken care of. What was really funny though <laughs> So we added this for the memes, but what was really funny is that yesterday Tim saw this with a ship and I'm pretty sure that he thought his opponent accidentally built stuff there and he immediately reacted with a barracks at home <laughs> like he, he sailed by it he saw the rubble and then he built a barracks at home, and I think that he was prepping to defend on land because he didn't look at the map ahead of time. So hopefully both of these players have looked at the version of islands we have here. I can kind of see how they might not because islands is islands. But um, anyways, funny little memes to mix in. This is an interesting Civ matchup for me. Like what's What Civ do you prefer, chat? I feel like Vikings is easily top five on water. Easily top five on water. If they have a little bit of time, they could be the best on water. Honestly, because they just need a little bit of time to go straight galleys. The downside is they normally don't have that time because civilizations like Japanese, like Italians that get fire galleys, they can pressure really early. So maybe that's why Lix is docking more to the north here, which is like the side of that island instead of the front. Um, I also see... Ooh, this is interesting. Zupi is also docking the north. So he's a lot closer to Lix than Lix would like. Some people are saying they like Vikings. Some people are saying they like Portuguese. Okay. I mean, Portuguese is its not bad. It's just not quite as good as Japanese or Vikings. I think they're still a bit underrated on water. You like Malay? All right. Again, Malay is not bad. I think when you're looking at best of fives where it's hidden sieve free pick... You don't really need to hold back a lot of punches when it comes to sieves. So what that means is is Japanese is probably not a preferred civilization on some of the other maps. They could be, but I think they're probably best on islands than they are elsewhere. So uh, you'll probably see similar civilizations used on on the water maps. Is Persians actually a good water sieve? Well, Theo, my only argument against going Persians here would be... Well, there's two, actually. One... Persians are fantastic on hybrid maps, and most of the maps in Hidden Cup are hybrid maps. So, normally with Persians, you want to be able to use land and water at the same time. You can't realistically do that as easily on, on this type of a map. Um, and the other argument against Persians is that they lack Bracer. But still, with that economy, you can beat any civilization, for sure. So remember, the meta, the norm, is to start off with Fire Galleys and Feudal Age and then transition into galleys. Vikings do not get fires, so that's the weakness. And you really do need fires sometimes to hold off an early feudal. So I think Lix is really hoping to delay and go for a bunch of galleys. It wouldn't surprise me to see Zupi just go full water and see Lix even consider a landing, but with Vikings, probably not. Lix is incredibly good with stubborn play. Um, I I've seen Lix so many times, especially in team games with Yo, go for landing, so. 
And 1v1, it's not out of the question, but I think it's more likely Japanese will land because of their cheap mining camps and mills gives them more resources to, to float for transport ships and for buildings. Um, yeah, this, this looks like water builds for them. Another villager goes to the north for Licks to dock. The villager's already docking for Zuki. I have sung karaoke with Zupi and not Licks, so I've got to root for Zupi. Wait, Zupi sang karaoke? I know Pike did. What did I do that night? I had somewhere to be. Yeah, man, the Finnish guys are... They have no shame. <laughs> they have no shame. They were... They were belting it out, man. I wish I remembered what Pike was singing. All of Swami did except for Rubenstock. Really? I feel like Rubenstock would be the person who would do it out of all of them. That's so funny. The others are so quiet. Okay. How about Byzantines? They have the best fire ships. Again, it's it, it depends. Um, they still just are not as good as some of the other civilizations. Are they top 10? Probably. Are they... If you can pick one Civ and you're looking to get into a tournament which has the biggest prize pool in 20 years, do you want to pick Byzantines? Probably not. No. Okay, so three docks is... It's all Japanese flexibility for you. All the resources they save. And the fishing ships also have insane armor. So it's really hard to snipe those. But, where will Zupi go? How long will it take him to find... Oh, he's already found him! He's already found Lix! I think he scouted with the fishing ship. This could be really bad for Lix. This is the struggle with Vikings. If they find you, you'll have three galleys versus two or three fire galleys. And there's no way you can ever fight that. Oh, this, this hurts. This hurts so much. This could be a quick game. My god. This could be really bad. Japanese are just going to flood the water. And the thing about the Finnish players, they're so build order oriented. They're normally really clean with water builds. I know Velez picked islands. Um, I think... I'm not sure about Max nowadays. But I know Max has picked islands in the past. So you need numbers. You need numbers with these galleys. And see what Zupi's doing is he started off with fires and now he's going to add the galleys after the fact. Ouch. Well, most of those fishing ships not working. Um, most of them will probably die. What do we even do here? This is an awful start for Lix. And this is fantastic for Zupi. If you pick home maps, you want to have an advantage... Uh, you, you, you're playing towards your strengths, and my goodness, are we seeing that here? Only one kill, but the fact that these fishing ships have been fishing freely, and Zupi has 10 military versus 8 is huge at this stage of the game. Okay. Oh, the micro from Lix! Okay, and Zupi noticed it. That was well played. At least Lix has kept his numbers alive. The guy does have fletching, so the goal with Vikings is just get to enough galleys. Here we go. Get to enough galleys... Where you can take some fights, this could end up swinging back into his control. And um, I actually forget if I mentioned it or not yet, but the thing about going galleys early is that they can actually take care of Japanese fishing ships a whole lot faster than fires. Okay, these fishing ships are looping the whole way around. I don't see how any of them survive. Yep, I just don't see it. Okay, so Zupi, does he have fletching yet? He does. We're looking at six galleys for him. We're looking at ten for Lix. Uh, obviously, Lix does not have the fires, though. Butter Schnapps! Thank you for the two months. Um, have I been good with the balance between thanking alerts and uh, not thanking alerts and casting today? I hope so, guys. Um, it's kind of hard for me. I have the silent alerts on so we don't distract from the games. Doesn't seem like the support is stopping and you guys are enjoying it, so that's good. Um, Zinc, thank you. Nice micro from Lix. The worry now is the uptime. Like, with all those fishing ships working, Zupi, he should have a whole lot more food floating. In fact, he has 200 more food right now. So he, he should reach Castle Age faster. And I think for Lix, it's got to be switch it up and go for heavy landing. Or you have to micro your heart out right now before Zupi clicks up to Castle Age. Hmm. Alright, how's your micro? They both patrolled here. And it's... Man, Zupi's production's just been so solid. 
Beautiful micro. I love galley micro. With a show of ones, how many people miss galley micro? How many? And how many people think that as much as fire galleys give you a little bit more on water, it's boring. Yes, it's so boring. I hate it. You have like six fires, and then someone sends out two demos, and suddenly they come back. You can never win full water in feudal. But galleys, it, it takes skill, it takes micro. You got the splits, you got the movement. It's beautiful. Demos need a buff. A buff? Dude, there was a demo yesterday that literally crashed our game. The game crashed. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Might have a few more drops. <laughs> All water is boring to me. Fair enough. I'm just... Occasionally I have to show my bias against certain things, right? Zoopy is already on his way to Castle Age. Lix. Oh, nice. Nice hit. He does lose one, though. But, um... Yeah, there's about a 30% difference for Zoopy. All because of the fishing ships. Fishing is so huge at the high level. One of these days, I need to go back and cast a classic Vikings War with, with the galleys. I could see why people don't like it, because the games would end pretty quickly. But maybe we'll get to the point where these island games go on for so freaking long that people want it to end quickly. <laughs> that That's actually hilarious to think about. Like... For a while, everyone on the forums was like, Oh, it's the same units all the time. And then, and the games end too quickly. They're only 18 minute games. But now games last three hours on island. So maybe it'll come full circle and we'll go back to what it used to be. That's funny. <clears throat> all right. Well, guys, I have to give Lix a bit of credit here because his uptime isn't near as bad as you would have expected considering the early losses. And his military numbers, it's 19 to 16. So that could easily change if he doesn't sail away from here quickly. But uh, this is manageable. You're constantly looking for a balance between your military numbers and, and water control, but also your economy. So I always pay attention to the second town centers when they go up, and there's the second TC for Zupi. But Vikings do have really good land eco. They have free wheelbarrow and feudal. Now free handcart has come in. So I, th I think Lix can stay alive in this. Yeah, now Lix just needs to bail. And honestly, if you're Zoopy, it might just be the better play to take out that dock. That's Oh, that's actually the dock that's researching War Galley too. <gasps> I think the research will come in. It's going to be so damn close. You know what Lix will do actually is force... Zoopy to fight or leave? Yeah. Oh my god! If he shoots the dock, the, the upgrade's cancelled? Oh, it's at 50 HP. Well, the dock's taken out now. Zoopy didn't know that upgrade was coming in there. But at least now Lix has the, the numbers and he has the upgrade. So we're looking at 14 war galleys versus 22 war galleys. Vikings are just insane and ballistics is already on the way. No ballistics for Zoopy? That that could be a big mistake. He's gone for the town center instead of ballistics. That could be a big mistake. Is a few extra villagers really worth it, Zoopy, when you already have the fishing ship advantage? Because if you lose the water control, then that makes eco just about even. Good micro from Lix. Guys, how close is this game? 64 pop for both. But I think with Ballistics versus Non-Ballistics, Zoopy's in trouble. Feels like he's kind of in trouble on water anyways. Nope, I don't think Vikings need Fire Galley. Vikings are in a good spot, man. Vikings are top tier on land and on water, honestly. They're really good. There's some uniqueness to them now. You can still make the Longboats in Castle Age. They have top 5 economy. They're incredible. I don't think any changes are needed. The one thing that is rough here for Lix is it's a lot more difficult to micro because you have that that uh, combo for Zupi. It's like melee and ranged, basically. Also, he doesn't have as many docks as he might want. Oh, he added two fishing ships. Nice. <laughs> the archer range <laughs> foundations keep catching me off guard. That's funny. <laughs> I feel like half the players don't even know the meme. 
I told Hera about that before we streamed and uh, showed the audience. I was like, do you know the ar three, three archer range on islands meme? And Hera's like, of course I know. You only mention it five times every hour, which I know was a joke, but it also hurt my feelings, so I'm still not over it yet. But anyways, um, Hera knows. I just don't know if, if like someone like Lix would know or Zufi. Okay, now Ballistics is in for Zupi, so I was a bit worried for him, but he's, he's done well. This is really close. Hi, I'm new. I heard you're the guy to go for archery range strategies on islands. Hello, Digital. Thank you for the 23. <laughs> T90 official no co-cast today? Uh, yeah, I have Fatslob co-casting. He's just not very talkative. Isn't that right, Fatslob? Yep, see? Yeah, he's not very talkative. Kane, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Also, PC Nerd has hosted with one viewer. He always does that. After every single stream he does not do, he hosts us. Thank you. If you if you haven't heard that story genuinely, I would just search for it on YouTube. <laughs> I'd rather not tell it again. <laughs> oh boy, lots of people are hosting with one viewer. Wow. Impressive, guys. 61 villagers or 61 eco. Keep in mind, the villagers there includes fishing ships. Uh, verse 61. This is two players in the qualifier, and it's this even. So competitive. If it's this close, though, Zupi to win this best of five probably needs to get a win on his home map, right? Because if you go down two games and it's this close, odds are you're probably going to lose at least one more in the remaining games. Lix has 27. It's just pure numbers now that's mattering. He has so many war galleys. Zupi wanted to pressure, he wanted to move in, and now he's sailing away. This is not good. Okay, now this is better, though. Now this fight might be better for the Finnish player. He has the meat shield with the fires, and he has the war galleys behind. Wow, right back at you, Lix. That was, that was good. That was very good. In fact... I think Lix needs to stay back here for a while longer next time. My goodness. Was that four or five units that went down? Yeah, th this hurts. This hurts. Zupi's taking a lead on water against the Viking player. The addition of the fires and also getting careening for the uh, ship armor in front was huge. This is huge! And Lix is committing to this fight for some reason. I guess he misjudged it. He's not able to click like we can as a caster, but... Um, 24 military for Zupi and 12 for Lix. Lix is about to click up to the Imperial Age. Zupi is not even close, though. Power of Vikings. Alright, so Lix is on his way. Guys, do you think it would make sense to switch to Longboat here? Or do you think he should stay on War Galley? It looks like he's staying on War Galley. But I feel like... Ah, it's, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I feel like staying War Galley makes sense. I think you really need to switch to Longboat against civilizations that get fast fire. I always forget if Japanese get fast fire. I think they do, and I think Italians don't, right? I try not to waste the space in my brain on water maps. <laughs> it's like... I just let Twitch chat do that for me. Uh, but... There's only so much space up in this noggin. Both do? Wait, Italian? Wait. What that? Why did I say Italians don't get fast fire? They do get fast fire. I, sorry, what I meant to say was demo. But yeah, you very much need to get, um... You very much need to get Longboat over Galleon if there's fast fires, I think. Because I think they do better versus the fast fire switch. Oh man, this is so awkward, isn't it? Lix has sailed the whole way around his islands. Zupi followed, and Zupi also sees the new units. It's so important for Lix to keep these numbers up! And I don't think he will! Not so easily, anyhow. Back here, he's also being chased. Oh boy. Lix will arrive to Imp. But the difference is 35 to 21. Will Imperial Age make that big of a difference? That hurts, but at least he has the docks. It'll take forever for these stocks to go down, so he's definitely going to have the resources for his upgrades. But to lose that much on both sides is really, really bad for him. 
Still doable though. Here we go. Imperial Age is in. Uh, no Bracer yet. Yeah, okay, there's Bracer. He has Galleon on the way in one of these docks. This dock, the safest dock. This is still being chased down. That should be dealt with, but what will happen on the front? A castle for Lix. Okay, he wants to castle there. I, I don't know if having Galleon makes up for the fact that Zupi has double the numbers right now. But he certainly needs to make something happen soon because now Zupi's on the way to the Imperial Age. Nice play from Zupi, man. Really nice play. Oh man, Galleon. Galleon is coming in, right? Did he... Did he lose the Galleon dock? Or did he cancel it or what? Oh no, it's in. Okay, my bad. I just... I must not have seen it. That was weird. I just got way too confused. Alright. So we're looking at 18 military for licks. Obviously that's all in water and then maybe there's a monk out there. And we're looking at 48 for Zupi, who should do a similar thing and think about castling the shoreline at some point soon. Uh, still really needs to deal with this. I, I think he will have to send something back there. A lot of stone income for Lix. So we could see a castle in the center. Okay, spoilers, alright? This, this spoils the game between Tim and... Um, Angelina Jolie yesterday, but how many people were here for that and realized, okay, someone said Lix made a transport, and he's sending the transport forward, but how many people realized that Tim built three towers on that, that neutral island? Like, so I was laughing because it was three towers. I was expecting one tower, but I didn't put it together that chat was laughing because he built three towers like I built three archer ranges. All of chat was like, oh, it's better, it's better than three ranges. I thought that was funny. Man, this is insane production for Zupi. But it's islands, right? So the game doesn't end here. <laughs> like, if you play it smart, your castle will protect your docks. The game definitely does not end with this. Fast fire's on the way for Zupi. Galleon's on the way. Bracer's on the way. Obviously, chemistry will be needed. This was cleaned up. In the main event of Hidden Cup, if someone picks Malay for this map and starts making fish traps, who are you guys going to guess it is? I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder who it might be. <laughs> okay. Here we have it. So, a great way to come back on this map is to castle the center islands. Oh, but this is not so good for you, Lix. If Zupi gets here soon, he could actually deny that castle. That's a well-placed castle, though. Will Zupi spot it? He will spot it. Can he deny it? There's more villagers coming. There's the monk to get the relic. That's where the that's where the extra relic is on this map. Well, I think this castle. Oh, it's gonna be close, isn't it? Cause Zupi doesn't. As the monk scurries away. Zupi doesn't necessarily want to focus down the bills, because if he's focusing down the bills, then he's not focusing down navy. But he also doesn't want the castle to go up, so he denies it. But in doing so, it gave Lix a couple good engagements. Lix also had the time to get the relic. Nice play. Uh, this hurts, though. The woodline's getting hit in the backside. And now more villagers are coming to potentially finish this castle. You're looking at 28 versus 22... Again, I actually think it's worth losing the villagers again, just so you can win on water. Like, send the bills forward as almost a meat shield. Okay. That's another way of approaching it. <laughs> just plays another castle. <laughs> uh, and Zupi, he actually can't do anything about it. He does not have the numbers he needs here. Both of those castles will go up. Wow. Now, I wonder if the navy that Zupi sent around this island's made the difference there. You know, like, if you would have had those numbers in the center, what would have happened? It's going to be terribly, in terribly inefficient to mine that gold, but at least the castles will be there. 
Oh boy, the wood lines are looking thin. Lix has three relics and the extra gold now. The population might not say it, guys, but I think Lix has the lead. I, I really do. He'll obviously get back here and deal with this now. That was such good thinking to see the relic and snag it. And I don't see... It's not going to be very easy at all for Zupi to push the center. So, there is a reason I went for islands over team islands. Uh, for our island version for Hidden Cup. It's because... I feel like on Team Islands, there's not a lot of reward for taking control of the water. Whereas here, you have the additional golds, uh, and you also... So it's usually two tiles of stone and three tiles of gold. I think I think that's the case. So we have six tiles of gold, a relic, and all that stone. So um, I feel like it's... This is a controversial map right now. There are a lot of people who don't like it, and sometimes I agree with you. <laughs> but I wanted players to have options, right? That's why we have so many maps. And I think it's it's good. I think it's in a good place to have the relics distributed fairly like that. Well, Zupi, you like to tower? Japanese have fantastic towers. Now will this be a doubt tower for him? Uh, looks like it will be, if Lix focuses. Uh, yep, dead. That's at 96%, you can barely see it. Yep, we'll see towers and castles. We might even see heated shot. Heated shot means that your ca your towers and castles do more damage against ships. Uh, Zupi just needs to... He needs to be ready for some type of a push to the center. And I think he needs... Yeah, okay. Now check this out. Japanese player making towers... They have better towers and better trebs than Vikings. Pretty sure that Lix just double-clicked all of his vills, including those villagers to build this castle. So he's con controlling both of the center islands now. Strex says, so water map question here. There is a lot of fish in the back, so why not take that fish? It's mainly due to the fact it's vulnerable. That's pretty much it. Also, the fact that you would need to... There's no docks back there. For either of them see so okay there we go like zoopy's doing it so if you have a dock back there and you can afford to do it with wood go for it but the thing is is food really that important right now strek food food is actually the least important resource right now um unless your name is viper and are making fish traps and have some like 500 iq move planned so pretty much the only reason you need food in the imperial age is to get your up upgrades on navy um, that's, that's normally what it comes down to. Okay, 150 population for licks. The military difference is staggering. 58 to 29. Take a look at this. If you didn't know, warships, they are 20% cheaper in the Imperial Age for Vikings. We're seeing that difference now. It's huge. Docks are also cost a bit less, so you save all that wood. 58 military to 30. So Lix can actually afford... Oh no! Zoopy! You can't leave a relic on the shoreline against Lix. Lix is going to send a monk over there soon. I guarantee you Lix is going to try and snag that. Oh man. Lix already has three relics too. And he has the stone. And he has the gold in the center. I just... I don't see this being very easy to come back from if you're Zoopy. I see the Trebs are there. I think the Trebs can range one of those castles. Okay, Lix. If this was Tato, Tato would be making a monk right now, and or, or bringing over his monk wherever it is, and putting it into that transport ship. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Zupi can reach the castles, but I don't know if he can protect his Trebs. He doesn't have the navy to. It's 74 to 59. Uh, however... 36 of Lix's navy is trapped. Oh, and it's going to be a sandwich, Lix. Be careful. Actually, funny enough, it's 33 for Zupi because all of Lix is stacked, so the numbers are not too bad. Still think this is a better fight for Zupi. This is not so good, though. He still can't push. Hmm. Another monk went over here. Oh, man. Zupi just must not be... There's so many things you have to focus on, right? So I just forgot about the monks. But that that is a good start right there. 
Honestly, that, that is a fantastic start, because that engagement was not something I expected Zupi to be able to get. But uh-oh, Cannon Galleon's here, 13 range. Now Zupi needs to start using his Trebs, or he needs to make a whole lot of navy. But how do you address this? You can't send navy in here because of the castles and the tower. That's the problem. I see Zupi's making a transport somewhere. I also see that he's researching armor for Cav, so he might want to raid with Cavalier or Light Cav. Most likely Light Cav, due to the gold cost on the Cavalier. Um, did take care of this, which is nice. And Lix never got that relic, but... That castle is slowly but surely going down. These are elite cannon galleons now. And Lix knows the navy's here, so he's out here to deal with this. Is it possible to even land for Zupi? I feel like it's not. Well. Wait, you know what he might do? He might land the center. He might actually land the center, treb the castle immediately, treb the tower, and then build his own castle. Though I think building your own castle would probably be a mistake. I feel like that's more likely. If he's sending Vils and also trebuchets. 34 against 27. Decent fight for Zupi. Close to reinforcements as well. This is all awful. This is all a nightmare. But this is a decent fight. He knows he's behind. He knows he needs to make the move. Here come the trebuchets. Lix will not know that's coming. Lix will just know that this is very good. And Lix will castle his face! And Zupi doesn't have a castle at his base anymore. So he can't make trebuchets to deal with this. Oh no! <laughs> that's actually hilarious! It's almost like Lix senses the fact that Zupi can't make trebs. And doesn't have the trebs on his island anymore. But now Zupi... Wait a second! Build a castle! Oh! Okay, now the difference here is that Lix can actually make Trebs at home. But, surprise, buddy. Wait, he can't make Trebs at home if this castle gets Trebs down? What? This is going to be a base trade on islands. Okay, uh, Lix doesn't have a lot of wood on his island, so it's good that he's over here at Zupi's base. It's an islands trade. Yes, indeed. Oh my god, this could be in this could be incredible. I still think Lix has a pretty big lead, but this is probably would you guys agree that this is the best way for Zupi to potentially come back? This has to be the only thing that he could really pull. Because if he tried to come back on water, it seemed impossible. This is a good play. So he'll defend with Light Cav. He has his own castle, so he can start making trebs. Um Holy crap, guys. <laughs> Onion Duck has just gifted 67 subs to the stream. Onion Duck, you are incredible. Salute that man. And hello, by the way. That's sometimes how he announces his arrival. Uh, also, Ulster Glory, not forgotten. Thank you for the five gifted. Fight! Uh, Zoopy, 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 fight! There you go. Okay. Lix is chopping wood in the center, that's hilarious. And he has navy on either side of his islands. Trying to prevent Zupi from making a push. But it's 164 population to 154, and, and Zupi actually has the population lead. Don't ask me how that's possible. Because I don't know. It still seems like Lix is way ahead. He does have the cannon galleons here to take out the castle. Yeah, I think the elite cannon gall... Excuse me, the Elite Cannon Galleon is still something that Zupi doesn't really have a response to. He's actually using his trebuchets. And Lix noticed it too. Wow, these guys are so damn good. What a fun what a fun way to see this islands game come to a close though. I, I think it will come to a close here. I, I think Zupi tried. He'll end up losing everything he has here. He is getting mopped up in the center. And wow. So Lix gets the result on Zoopy's home map and goes up two games to zero. Like I said, the games have been incredibly close. But if Lix is up 2-0 when the games have been incredibly close, 
Is it going to be easy for Zupi to come back and win three games in a row to move on? Well, it's unlikely. Uh, Lix yeah. is just a beast, man. That, I thought it was so cool how he was able to come back in this game. I, I think it was the Viking power. I think the fact that the uh, docks are cheaper and the warships are cheaper saved him because he lost so... Okay, that's that's happening consistently. I think it's my mouse, but um, it, it's happening so frequently where... Um, wait, God. Shoot, what was I talking about? I was talking about him coming back, right? Oh, yeah, I think when his fishing ships were sailing around and then he ended up losing them, he was obviously going to be behind in the economy. But I think the Viking eco upgrades and also the cheap warships ended up bringing it back for him because somehow he exploded. He got to the faster Imperial Age, took the center, and it never looked like there was any doubt from there. Man. Um, you know what's funny? The scene I have... Yeah, my alerts, I don't have a single alert for gifted subs like I do on my other scenes. So we are going to see the name of each and every person that has received a gifted sub from Atomic Sausage as well? What? Okay. Atomic Sausage as well. So, <laughs> um, there's the KD for you. I don't know what to say at the moment. And economically, Lix was only behind in food. So again, that might have been the fishing ships that Zupi had in the back. Uh, but food should not really matter. It's wood, stone, and gold, and endgame on islands. Incredible. Guys, um, I don't know what to say except thank you. Um, we are actually less than a month away of the main event of Hidden Cup. So that... Wait, let's see. I'm trying to think about how these, these subs work. Because what's happening is I'm gifting... Or I'm putting $1 into the prize pool for every single subscriber that's on this stream. But that would be on the final day, so like the final sub count. Um, so just keep that in mind, I guess. If you want to go crazy with sub gifts, wait until the 23rd, actually. <laughs> because I think for a lot of those people, their subs might actually expire a couple days before the main event. But anyways, uh, I don't know how many people we have watching because it's not set up here. Uh, but I'm I'm just proud, man. This is cool. To have so many people interested in age, this is a dream. <clears throat> what you mean is each subscriber is donating $1 to the prize pool. Basically, yeah. Ba I mean, not really, right? Like you sub to me and then I put the money in, but that's the plan. Um, I think it will give us big sub numbers and it'll push the prize pool for the event higher than it already is now. So that's what I'm planning on. Okay, so let's back up a little bit. Zupi's lost two very close games, and Zupi has Bay remaining as his final home map, all right? If Zupi wins this, he's still alive, and then we go to Lix's home maps, okay? This map is not Pants. This map is Bay. Get it right, everybody. Let's go. Did I get the scoreboard yet? Okay. It's not pants. <laughs> I'm I'm not going to lie. I'm half debating adding a T90 pants emote for the main event. We have seen the map picked a lot in, in the home maps, which is a surprise to me. So I'm half debating make, doing that. But uh, welcome, everybody. This is game number three between Lix and Zupi in a best of five. Winner here moves on. And just has to win one more best of seven to make it into the main event of Hidden Cup. So, even if this ends up being 3-0 for Lix, which I don't think it will. I have a feeling Zupi will do well here. Um, even if that happens, what you guys need to do is you need to pay very close attention to the player styles. We saw Tim the other day. What was Tim doing? He was stonewalling. He was... He was... Uh, that's the big takeaway. <laughs> Funky castles and stonewalls from Tim. You won't see a lot of pros do that. If Tim makes it in... We'll want to remember that because the main event of Hidden Cup, we won't know who is who, okay? Uh, Lix, he has gone for the Mongols, and Zupi has gone for Indians. Indians on Bay. Fascinating. Wait, is that Indians or is that... That's Persians. That's Persians. I'm so sorry. We really... I, I recognize we need to have the, the names of the civilizations on this overlay. I believe that's Persians. I thought Indians initially, that's Persians. Okay, so the, this map bay is a great hybrid map. 
You have the water that you can pressure for. That's great. You can find some reward there with salmon. You can also take the deer. I think that's probably what Lix is thinking about when he went for Mongols. But there's a lot of maps where Mongols excel. And there's a lot of maps where you can justify picking them. So whether or not you globally ban Mongols, if you don't want to play against them, whether or not you use Mongols on this map or another map, is going to be one of the bigger talking points when it comes to civs throughout Hidden Cup games. Um, and then how you play it, too. So, for example, Tim yesterday, spoilers, he chose Mongols, and he just neglected the water. He just went out and took all the deer. In fact, a change we made going into Hidden Cup 3 is there's more deer out here on the map. And it kind of worked for him, but what I expected to see... Actually, Lix is... Lix is also... He's building a mill on berries? What? Yeah, what I expect to see is a dock. <laughs> I expect to see a dock, fight for water, and also take the hunt later on. Uh, oh! Oh! Zoopy! The plays! Beautiful! Well played, man. His villager was out here and exposed. Lix was looking to see if Zoopy was going to dock. And Zoopy docked nice and early there, too. Um, so he'll be pumping some fishing ships out. Alright, so people say this map looks like pants. They say that this is the belt area. And then you have the legs on either side where the players are. Alright? Um, I don't know where this came from. I didn't know you guys were so creative. But next time we create a new map, I will ask you guys what we should name it. Okay? It's clearly shorts, not pants. Yeah, that's true. If You guys are dumb. If this was pants, that guy would have... He would have very awkward legs. <laughs> it is clearly shorts. Yeah, we just can't see his ankles. How do you check? How do you get to the top gold? Uh, you, you walk there. Okay, so there was another drop. All right. And thanks to E, we can actually restore it. So I'm going to restore that real quick. I already have the file. We're already good to go. I'm seriously thankful that we can restore. Because there are drops. Now there's a save and exit prompt, and we can continue to cast, which is huge. Uh, I can't imagine the nightmare of, of not being able to do that. So it's fine. It's fine. We're back in the game, and let's go. So yeah, the, the whole thought process when I, when I uh, came up with the idea for this map was I wanted people to be able to take water, but I also wanted there to be benefit to taking land. And I think there's huge benefit to water, and there's huge benefit to land. Uh, Lix has already scouted the deer, so he must be thinking that, well, I know where my opponent's deer are, I probably won't take that, but I know my deer are here, and I'm really surprised he's not docked. Like, was he training with Tim, or what? Just no dock whatsoever? Huh. Okay. I'm gonna just breathe for a second. Um, I need to do that, instead of surviving on coffee and, uh, talking a mile a minute all day today. Um, thank you, Celtic FC, AOC, Terror, and Mid Seasons. Uh, thank you all for the new Twitch Primes. Thank you, Top of the CC, for coming back with the Twitch Prime for four months. He says, hyped for another great match on Boxer Briefs. <laughs> okay, you know what? I kind of like that. I think I like that better than Pants. Can we call it Boxer Briefs now? I think that's more realistic. Definitely seems more like Boxer Briefs than pants. Damn it, we tried. All right. Uh, Jirono, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Ryu donated a dollar and said, why don't you have any merch? Uh, I do, actually. There should be an image below the stream, and you should be able to click that. Uh, if not, maybe you can type exclamation merch. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Lix, I see. So, he didn't go to water in Dark Age to fish? But he definitely knows Zoopy's fishing, and so he's gone on water in Feudal Age. And he's starting off with a... With a... Demo? A demo? Guys, the last time I saw a demo on this map, the game crashed when it went off and killed 10 units. <laughs> Is he going to demo multiple fishing ships? This would be next level, so all in, but so at no way. No way! That was so sick, man! That's so much better than just going for a fire. Wow! That was planned out! That was planned out! I am so... 
I have no words for what I just saw. Three fishing ships. That was epic from Lix. Holy crap. Dude, this guy, he had some planned strategies for this, didn't he? According to Yupe, who's a, a Finnish player and good friends with Zupi, he says Zupi did not have a lot of practice. I still think Zupi played really well. Oh, that's just so funny to me. Now Zupi is creating a fire galley and Lix doesn't have anything over here. Like, Alright, thanks for wasting those resources on fishing ships I don't have. Oh, wait. <laughs> Another demo? <laughs> you notice how Zupi split up his fish? He's like, not again. <laughs> I won't let this happen again. That's hilarious. Alright, just take one, I guess. You might as well have just made a fire for the other two, but... Alright. We do have a demo emote. People seem to forget we have that here, but... Stone Age Knave with 16 months to spoiler alert. Laher will not win Hidden Cup 3, but he will kill something. Well, he won't be one of the hero names. Sad times for people that like that name. I started off with Lahair. People gave me a hard time for that. Lahair. People gave me a hard time. Another demo? Why are you making so many demos? <laughs> oh my god. Why does he... This is so interesting to me. I feel like the first demo was epic. Now this is just getting more and more ridiculous. Boom. But it's just to clear out the fish, so... He doesn't really care about winning water. Does anyone know the cost of a demo... The exact cost of a demo and the exact cost of a fire? Because if the goal was to clear out fish, I'd say it was probably worth it. Because isn't the demo a bit less expensive? Oh, it's not a huge difference. The demo is a bit more expensive. Okay. Alright, well, so we have the deer income for the Mongol player, we have the stable for Lix. He did just snipe Zupi's scout. This is not looking great for Zupi. He doesn't have the fish anymore. He really needs to be able to breathe and find out what's going on out here. He doesn't know too much after losing the scout, but he did see the barracks earlier, so he knows that it is probably scouts out here for Lix. But he also knows that he, he doesn't have any big advantages now that he doesn't have fishing ships. Uh, the Mongol player is freely hunting. So that is a concern. And Lix is now going to stone. So I think he wants to go fast castle into Mangadai. Um, I, I shouldn't say fast castle. It's not truly a fast castle. But he wants to get up there as quickly as possible. And go for Mangadai. And I actually think it's a good idea for Zupi to add more fish now. T90, what do you think of making the names of the players the names of the people who have gifted the most subs in your channel? But we have Matt, we'd have Salsa, Duck, <laughs> and we'd have some interesting names, that's for sure. No offense, but uh, when we have people who are going to be coming back to age 2, I feel like having uh, age 2 names would make a whole lot more sense. But maybe we'll do a promotional event with those names. Too many good people out there, man. I, I'm at the point now where it's like... It's not... I'm not comfortable with it. So I'm, it's not something you ever get used to. But it's also happened frequently enough where it doesn't surprise me. If that makes sense. So thank you. Thank you very much, Atomic Sausage and, and Onion Duck. And everybody else for just being here. This is sick. But this is what Zoopy needed. He needed some, some type of a counter... Uh, he gets it, but Lix doesn't seem too troubled, does he? He does not seem troubled at all. Looking at 300 food for Zupi. We're looking at 650 food for Lix. Man, these, these maps that we see in Hidden Cup never cease to amaze me because we're always seeing different things. We saw it in Hidden Cup 2 as well. I'm I'm beyond happy with the maps we have for this. Hey, we saw we saw Lix do something here that we did not see from either of the players who went Mongols yesterday. And I've not seen anyone play that with demos uh, ever on this map, so I mean that's just rare altogether to, to go for demos like that. But there's still about a thousand food in here. And Zupi is committing to another dock, so I think he will... He might not have the strongest castle age time, but he will have more eco-units working. 
Struggle then becomes, how do you deal with the strength of Mongols when they get a castle up? But guys, another thing I didn't really get to mention on this map is, it's not the easiest map to wall because you cannot wall on this terrain. So you can't, like this wall here would otherwise be perfect, but nope, the units can run right around. And now Zupi will see that Lix is on stone, and he might even be able to get in and pick off some villagers, so... Lix will need to send something back here. Yep, there, here come the scouts. The spears to protect the villagers in case more units show up, and then sending the scouts back means he'll, he'll get something in defense earlier. <clears throat> yeah, we're using hero names this year, guys. Um, if you still have input on hero names you'd like to see, you can... You can give that input on the feedback thread on AoE zone. Um, however, I've taken a lot of feedback from people who posted there and also gotten input from mods and Dave and, and others, and I think we have a really good set of names. We have like a lot of really classic hero names. Uh, we also have some funny ones. We have some memes, so it should be good. Well, we had... The, the issue is we don't want to use names we've already used before, right? So, someone said Blood of the Hun. We've used Blood of the Hun already. Um, I th wait, was Bleda? We had Attila and Bleda. Yeah, we used we used Bleda and some of the other names you've mentioned. Yeah, Emperor in a Barrel will be one of them, that's for sure. Emperor in a Barrel will be great. Interesting little fight we have here, because Zupi does have some navy, and I have to say, hats off to Zupi. He might have overfished a little bit here, but he's certainly in this game. Lix has not placed his castle yet. And Lix has actually gone for a town center out here. And Zupi will be adding some knights. Yeah, I don't want to spoil all of them, but they'll be really good, trust me. I actually think the selection and diversity of names will be better than Hidden Cup 2. Because in Hidden Cup 2, I didn't really think about having a mix of different regions or different campaigns represented. I just kind of went for popular names. And some were good, but others were... Um, it was a bit region heavy, so we will have some from the new campaigns, and a lot from the old, of course. C. Burke donated three bucks. He says, hey, T90, first time dropping by the stream came from YouTube. Thanks for all the great commentary and content. Thank you, C. Burke. Welcome, man. Um, well, guys, I guess I'll just bring you up to speed in case you, you don't know what's going on or what the schedule is today. So this is a best of five, obviously. And uh, I'm hoping Zupi wins here. I'm hoping this continues because it's been so damn close. Very well might continue here. He has a big lead in the population at the moment. <clears throat> uh, but then after this best of five, we have one more on the day. And that will be between Cloud and Lan. And this is all with HC3 qualifying. Okay, the castle just went up for Lix. And this is as Zupi is ma has made uh, some scorpions and a forward monastery, which is in a weird position. Oh my god! This is hilarious. Lix is like, nope. <laughs> That's my relic. That is hilarious. Just swooped in, grabbed the relic before Zupi could snag it. Well, the worry I have for Lix at the moment is how good is your food eco? Because you didn't fish. You're not heavily on the deer anymore. You do have farms, but Zupi has had farms. Persian TC's pumping out fills, and also he has fishing ships. Like, this guy has a lot of upgrades on this unit. He has full armor, bloodlines, and attack on these knights. Zupi went from falling behind after losing the fish to being in a great spot. I really don't think you can completely forget about the water. Alright, the monk will actually survive for the time being. And he got a conversion, so that's not too bad for Lix. So this is fascinating to me. There, there's two main things I want to talk about. First thing I want to bring up besides the big eco difference, is what units the players are making and what units they want to be making long term. They're both making the units... Wow, did you see that? Zupi sniped that weak Mangadai uh, with the unit he converted, but they both want to be making these units throughout the game. Zupi will definitely want to have Paladin in an ideal world, and Lix will definitely want to have Mangadai. So everything's a bit streamlined for them. But the other thing I want to talk about is the cost of those units. Knights cost food and gold. It also costs food and gold to go to the Imperial Age. Mangadai cost wood and gold. So you don't need to spend food beyond just upgrading them. The struggle is, it's like, at the moment it seems like Zupi is going to have the food income 
to produce knights and still go to imp at around the same time because he's now adding fish traps. Um, he has insane an insane boom going with his fourth TC coming up. So yes, it does not cost food to to produce the Mangadai. It still does not look too good economically for Lix. I'm debating getting another cup of coffee in between game three and game four, if that happens. Spoilers. <laughs> so what does Lix really do? You just have to wait for numbers. You just have to wait for numbers? I think he needs a castle to stabilize somewhere. Because Zupi is all over him at the moment. If this continues like this for Lix, if he's not taking better engagements, if he can't protect himself, okay, and there's the castle. I think this will be Zoopy's game. After the six, start two with the demo. It's an interesting play. But what's better, clearing out the fish and holding control of that pond, or clearing out the fish and is losing control of the pond? I think it's possible he didn't commit as much to water as he needed to, and Zoopy, he used that food to bounce right back into this game. Right, the castle's up for Lix, as Zupi finds out the hard way, but I think he can still take out that town center. Bit of a counterattack though, for Lix. We're looking at five Mangadai and two TCs. <laughs> so, um, if the TC's garrisoned, Zupi's focused elsewhere, I imagine. Yeah, okay, he reacts, and he sends knights out. Yeah, he's fine, man. He's fine. Oh my god, what happened here? What happened here? Where were those villagers going? You know what I think might have happened? Maybe he was trying to send them over here? Maybe he was trying to expand? But it's a massacre! So that's a disaster because he was- he didn't do any damage with the counterattack. He's losing Mangadai, and he lost the villagers. Zupi is still alive in this series. How good has Zupi played in this game, guys? Super good! The fact that he's been able to balance his eco with water, the fact that he's been producing knights, the fact that he's been getting conversions on Mangadai, uh, he, has, he has just as many Mangadai on our screen as Lix does. Yeah, this has been really good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, Lix reacted to that, and so he knows this is going to be a castle drop, but I don't think a tower stops that from happening. Uh, that castle's still going to go up. That's in a great spot. The tower might not even go up. Wow. Insane performance from Zupi. The comeback is officially on. That tower is not even in range. Might as well not even finish it. Zupi will go up to the freaking Imperial Age. Look at this. Like I said, he's producing units that cost the resources he needs to go imp. And he's still going to imp faster. That's how good he's played this. This is not so good, but his position's already so strong, I don't think he'll have any complaints about that. Loses the monks, but he's so high and mighty now, he doesn't need God. Let's be honest. He doesn't need to pray. <laughs> he's fine, man. Man, Persians. So, I've had one pro player tell me that they think Cup is going to be a Persian war. I've had another pro player tell me that they think Bay is going to be a Persian war. I had another pro player tell me that Persians will win on every single map. <laughs> so, uh, Persians are good, okay? Now, where you use Persians, I'm not too sure. It depends on the player preference, depends on the matchup you expect. Oh, boy. How are your quick walls, Lix? Uh, I think he needs a stone wall and not a palisade. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you... Oh, there was a hole there. Oh, boy. Ouch. Lix is getting wrecked. Lix is getting wrecked. This this game's over. We're moving on to game number four for sure. Even if Zupi loses every single one of these knights, he'll be in the Imperial Age with 50 more villagers and plenty more where that came from. He could shift delete all of his knights here. Like, that would be a flex. <laughs> Just, boom, delete them all and still win. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, 110 food for Lix. He needs 1,000 to go to the Imperial Age. 
the knights just end up running back home. I think Lix will probably tap out once he sees the Imperial Ages in. Then again, Lix is from China. Okay, all right, he's not Tim. Tim would probably continue for another three hours. Well, GG Zoopy. Uh, game one and two were so solid from him, but he didn't end up getting the win. This series, it was never expected to see a 3-0, so I'm really happy with that performance, which means we're moving on, and for the first time today, we'll actually see a home map pick from Lix. Uh, to me, it looked like he had a strategy prepared for this. I think if you rely too heavily on the hunt and you don't add in farms or fishing ships on this map, things become very unstable for you in the mid-game. Whereas Zoopy, he took a deep breath after losing the fishing ships to demos, went right back on the water down here, and won the game. Really good stuff. I mean, again, I don't want to um, sell this guy short. Four town centers producing, two docks with fishing ships, constant production and conversions. Incredible. All right. So... Is anyone else pulling for Zoopy to tie it up? Oh, by the way, if you wanted to see this, take a look at that. 5,000 more food, 3,000 more wood, way more gold, and he was an imp faster. Yeah, I think like you go Mongols there to get to feudal faster to potentially fight for water. But you don't, I don't think it's a wise move to pick Mongols there and only go for the deer. That's what I'm saying. But I, I would like to see Zoopy tie this up, and I'd like to see a crazy game five like we had yesterday. Uh, game four. What is the potential map? Okay, we have Cup and Slopes. So it's either Slopes or Cup for Licks. I'm kind of thinking he'll go for Cup. <laughs> you guys can help me out with renaming maps, apparently. Uh, let's see what they'll go for. Wait a second, I just had deja vu. It is Cup, and I remember Lix playing this in the Hidden Cup 2 qualifier. So Zoopy, he has picked Malay, and Lix has also picked Malay. Fascinating, what did we see yesterday? Was it Japanese, right? Didn't we see a Japanese war yesterday on this? I think so. Again, I don't think players have the maps figured out yet. I don't think there's a clear best sieve on every single map. And they've gone for Malay. So history lesson. Um, Stark, who's also in this qualifier, somewhere else in the bracket, uh, he played Lix in a best of five in Hidden Cup 2 qualifier. Lix went for a drush against fishing ships. Yeah, Stark made a dock. He made fishing ships. And Lix drushed it. <laughs> And then followed it up with towers, man. So, uh, in the center, you can, you, you, your, blah, blah, blah. Let's, let's slow down. Your land units can walk across this land. You can also dock here. However, if you dock on the right, you can't cross over to the left. If you dock the left, you can't cross over to the right. Um, so if you want to mill the fish, you could. Uh, but normally we're seeing docks. <clears throat> now, the player positions are always fixed, and usually your resources are kind of on the backside. So what this might lead to is a bit of engagements on water for water control, and then probably some walling, and then uh, archers. Yeah. I imagine it's archers with Malay. I can't imagine we're going to see anything else. Oh my god, the harbors could be insane here. Has anyone brought that up? The harbors could be insane here. Malay have a technology called Thalassocracy, which makes their docks into harbors, and they shoot arrows. Imagine with all this extra gold if you just harbor up the center. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. We could have unlimited fish traps, which I think are extremely risky on this map because everyone's so close. And we could have harbors. Okay. I'm excited. Hmm. So this is what I expect. I think the safe play is to dock in Dark Age, but dock here. Um, so scout where the fish are, but dock this side. Um, sometimes I've seen players like Zoopy could walk out here and dock there because it's closer to the fishing ships. No, Zoopy wants to dock this side. Okay. Again, there is no clear meta. 
But normally, since there's more space over here, you would think there's more fish. But then as a counter argument, you could also say that you don't protect yourself in between the player bases. Whereas if you control this area of the water, it keeps you a little bit more safe on land. Make demos against archers or fires or whatever. Alright, there's the first fishing ship for Zoopy, and Lix has made a mill. Again, that's not common. <laughs> Th that is not common at all. Uh, Lix is not going for the dock. Wait a second. If he's not docking, that means he saves wood. That means he's going to make a barracks again. Is he going to do the same thing that he did in the Hidden Cup 2 qualifier and make a barracks and drush the fish? I really hope he does. Yes, he's going to build the barracks now. He's going to build the barracks now. Nice. Okay. He's going to drush the fishing ship, man. <laughs> this is a lick strategy. He patented this. Man, it's been so long. It's been over a year, too, since I've seen that game. But I just remembered. I remember he went drush to take out fishing ships, and then he went for a tower rush. So Drush stands for Dark Age Rush. It normally is, is Militia. Uh, well, it only can be Militia. Zoopy did or did not spot the barracks? He did spot the barracks going up. Okay, so you, you might not even need to go too crazy on the Militia. Uh, the fish can... They can sit in here and you can't hit them with the scout or the Militia, but then they have to take the food back to the dock. So... Regardless, it's still not too great for you. You could wall in the dock if you really wanted to. So this actually takes some good micro from Zoopy <laughs> to hide the fishing ships from the militia. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, quick. Back to get 15 more food. This is so wacky, man. This is so wacky. I love it. All right, now it goes this way. All right, he micros this one. This one goes to drop off the food. Now this one, go hide. Uh oh, micro. Micro, yes. Micro on the salmon. <laughs> it's, just, it's like impressive and dumb at the same time, man. You can clearly see what Lix was going for. He wants to take out the fishing ships. He wants that to be a waste of 200... What's that come out to? Over 300 wood. But Zupi is now on his way to Feudal Age, and he has stopped fishing ship production. Uh, and his fishing ships have brought in more food than you would have expected. So I think just the fact that he scouted that barracks was huge. Because he stopped production and he knows the strategy now. I highly doubt Zoopy saw how Lix played this in the Hidden Cup 2 qualifiers. Alright, micro... <laughs> micro Zoopy. Um, this one's getting hit too. Okay, I mean they're very weak now. There we go, he's got one. He's got one. Fast barracks for Zoopy upon arriving to Feudal Age. Way faster. He's also making a fire. Um, and then he... He actually has this stopped, by the way. He pressed stop. It's not fishing anymore. He wants to wait until he has some archers or a fire to protect. And... Um, these villagers are so going forward, aren't they? He loves this strategy! And Lix destroyed with the strategy last time. He's going crew man at arms. And he's sending villagers across to go tower rush. Wow, he'll have five man at arms. Zupi, I hope you're ready for quick walls. I hope you're ready for annoying towers because there go the fills. Now, can this fire protect from that? Not really. It can protect from this. Oh, don't tell me he'll snipe the fish. <gasps> Zoopy has so many other things to focus on because of the quick walls and the fishing ship will die to that. And now the villagers come into tower! This is so perfect! This is honestly so sick from Lix! Now Zoopy's water control is useless, he has no fishing ships, and now he won't be able to take his gold! The, like, is anyone else impressed by the creativity? I mean, I saw this before. But the way he's thought about this is nuts! He has to think five steps ahead. Like, five different things had to happen to get to this point. Unbelievable. And he's already on stone, right? So he can build more towers. And Zupi does not have enough archers to deal with the villagers. So now, what's funny about this map is, too, 
a lot of your gold's on the backside, which usually means you're screwed if you try and be aggressive, but not if you walk around like this. Now, Zupi is on this gold already, and he is making archers, and he is building a defensive tower. So you could argue that if he gets to about five or six archers, Lix isn't going to have any archers of his own. Wow. Now, you guys would have to find the YouTube video. I don't know if memory serves me correctly, but I think what Lix ended up doing in the other game was he, while he was applying that pressure, he docked and fished the left side. I believe that's what happens. Uh, Zupi's going for a counterattack. And I think, yeah, this is very much needed. If you don't have fires protecting there, you probably need some skirms. But we're looking at uh, Zupi with 32 villagers. Okay. And 31 for Lix. And Zupi, if he wants gold, he has it. If he, I mean, right now he's on wood. I don't know how long he'll have wood if the towers continue to go up. He can't take any of his stone. And now a blacksmith and skirms should be on the way. I think Lix is more than fine here. It's so crazy to me. If you look at Zupi's base, it looks like a perfect base to wall up and camp in. But this build is just... The thought process behind it is so fascinating to me. But economically speaking, you can consider Lix behind right now. Now, efficiency of it might not be too hot for him. He can't take his berries that comfortably. Uh, he had a lot more idle time, but the worry is that Zupi was very sneaky back here. But still, we're looking at archers without fletching. So I think Lix will, unless he has a weak vill, not lose anything and probably be able to deal with this. Surprise, surprise. Yep. How quickly does Lix react? He attacks there's a weak villager in there and okay of course he's gonna lose one after i said he wouldn't well nice nice job from zupi though zupi knows he can stick around longer if he takes out the archer Lix also knows he can fight with a few vills because there's no fletching yet so fascinating uh messy exactly what you would expect this is the area Lix needs to get to now <laughs> he just he clicked the stone guys and those villagers were walking dangerously close to the enemy town center but by the way, if you're wondering about the eco difference, Zupi came back on water. Just like in the previous game, there's still man at arms out here. And this villager might give Lix the scouting he needs. Zupi also sent in more archers on the right. Zupi's ahead now. Zupi's ahead. If he has the fish, he's good. What a ridiculous game. Beautiful mining camp there, Lix. You can tell that that Zupi is paying really close attention to his military because it's instant micro and it was instant reaction uh, here as well. And that villager will probably go down. So it's almost like Lix's strategy packed an early punch but there was no easy follow-up to it. And Zupi's strategy, it, it lasts longer. It makes more sense as the game goes on with archer production. All right, these villagers are just over here mining stone. For those wondering, uh, resources are looking much better for Zupi. But look at Lix's sneaky dock. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Zupi can't see the dock. It's the sneakiest dock possible. Oh, man. Imagine if he's, if he's real sneaky with it and waits till he has like three fires. Or he demos the archers. Oh, there's endless possibilities. Yep. Oh! Oh, it's been a while! Woo woo woo! <laughs> uh, Lix doesn't need to do anything there. The wolf took care of the job. The man at arms forgot about those guys, but they're dead. The scout is just attacking the archery range to assert dominance. Uh, Zupi will... Wait a second. What's this? Oh, wow, the Vils are fighting now. Okay, he wanted to wall in those villagers? He doesn't have archers there. Oh my god, man. If I'm Zupi and I spot this late and lose the game because of it, I would be so tilted. Can you imagine the frustration? Okay, he should know it. It's there now. Yeah, okay, he sees it now. It's actually a mining camp from Zupi. That's kind of weird. 
But I guess there's no army there for Lix, so. We have defensive towers everywhere for Lix at his base. He does have some archers. Oh boy, I can see where this is going. These archers are heading right to that wood line. And then Zupi might also lose the fish on the right side. Though it is very, very close. And Lix is trying to place a tower here. Zupi's equal to it with the two archers. Man, what a game. What a game. This, this is amazing. This game has had so much. Honestly, I think Zupi will be happy uh, with the fact that he saw this in time. He won't be happy with this, though. Shh. 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 Remember, Zupi has all the fish, so he's gained a very nice food count. Oh, but he wants to build the market and go up to the next stage! Surprise! Oh, no! Oh, man, Lix just snuck in the right area. Zupi doesn't have his military here. His military's trying to find a way, trying to find an area in Lix's base to hit. Oh, that's so bad. He still could be fine, but not only does it delay the market, but he loses villagers that he would have wanted to hold on. Yeah, he, he definitely would have wanted to hold on to those. I think he could have walled here. Um... So I'm surprised he didn't wall there and wall in towards the water when he had some control. What about Lix? Lix is still pretty far away from clicking up. These villagers here did complete the tower. And now the army from Zupi swoops in. I think Zupi has to be very careful not to be tempted and sit underneath the tower. So I think if you sit underneath this tower, you'll end up losing the entire army, so you probably need to bail and just wait for upgrades. Wow. Okay. Zupi has 71 population. It's 54 for Lix. Are we going to a game 5? When these units are upgraded, the towers are not going to do too much for Lix. Lix still hasn't clicked up. I love how he redocked on this side and added more fishing ships. Oh, and the repairs! That's huge! The repairs are huge. That means he will still hold some presence there. And also, here he has to micro. This is incredible from Zupi. Lix has now clicked up. Lix was up 2 0 after two very, very close wins. Then Zupi clawed the previous game back. And Zupi is now ahead right now. Uh, hes I would say he's pretty far ahead as well because of the military lead he has. And the fact he was faster to Castle Age. The fact that Zupi doesn't have control of any of the sides on water. On a map where that's very much important. It's desperation moves for Lix. Uh oh, but Zupi, he didn't, re he didn't think there'd be a tower there. That, that hurts. That hurts and I think Lix will send in some units to counter. So guys, what Lix knows, sorry, there's almost almost uh, too many things I need to look at right now, but Lix knows that Zupi's on this gold. I guarantee you that Lix can see that one villager and is going to go, oh wait, hold on, hold on, he's going for the fishing ships. And now Zupi has a demo on the way. <laughs> oh, what a map, what a game. This is a bit risky, though. This is a bit risky. I'm not sure how I feel about this, Lix. You might be stuck on the island soon. These crossbows are about to start playing Survivor. Oh, nice spot from Zupi. Again, losing a lot to towers. Oh, Zupi, go for it. Zupi, go for it. Send the demo out. You know he's got... Oh, my God. Will Lix react to this? Lix, you need two shots, I think. Oh, he's so toast! He is so toast! Boom! That was a sick demo from Zupi! And so he will still control the areas on the map he needs to control. He was vulnerable here. Uh, he's actually town-centered and garrisoned and is shooting down some of these towers. Beautiful play from Zupi. And I really feel like Lix had a moment there where he could have microed it down, he just wasn't fast enough. That was awesome. 72 population for Zupi. Guys, the reverse sweep could be coming here. We could be going to a game five. 54 eco versus 51 though. Still so close. 
It's like the way I see it, though, as Zupi did lose a villager on that gold. Um, the way I see it is that Zupi having so much water control, it not only gives him a little bit extra economy, but it gives him a security blanket. So Lix is going to be hard pressed to find any area where he can do damage soon. Both players microing small groups of units. You would expect Lix to do better here? No. What a nerd. What a nerd. And just just one crossbow, just to distract Lix a little bit longer. That's funny. I need to check Lix's food eco for a second. I need to take a look at this. Seems like it's... Seems like it's not awful. He's on two town centers, and what do we have for Zupi? Three. He's not producing out of all of them, which is a concern. He's spending a lot of- No way! Lix built a siege workshop here? Are you kidding me? That is such a Lix siege workshop. If Lix makes it in to the main event, and someone builds a random siege workshop in the center of someone's base like this, that is him. But you know what? He's making a lumber camp here! That's how confident he is! <laughs> He's so confident that he's going to hold this position. He's lumbering up. Okay, um... But honestly, on a map like this, that's right between two stones, the main gold is there, this is not a bad decision at all. The lumber camp's a bit questionable, but everything else, it does make a bit of sense. And... <gasps> a castle. And with a castle means water control, with a castle means harbors? Oh boy. If you've just stopped in, uh, this is a Malay mirror matchup. Big shot from Lix. What? Okay, well, he'll take that. It seems like Zupi almost expected that the mango would come out with an attack round, though. That was creative. One for two is something Lix will take any day. Okay, the crossbows continue to come from Zupi. He even has units out here, so he, he has really done a good job at preventing Lix from expanding. But Lix, he has placed these towers and buildings so well. Um, as I say that though, he needs to be very careful he doesn't lose more than a few villagers. He is behind in the economy. Zoopy's micro. Oh, that was perfect. And he even could, could remain a presence here. Yep. Hit, run, hit, run, beautiful. Meanwhile, oh, I said we weren't going to see elephants. Elephants make some sense here, but Lix quickwalled. <laughs> oh my god, I, I never want to play Lix ever. Okay, not in a team game, not in a one v one, not in a force nothing game, not in a Call of Duty game. I never want to play Lix. He is one of the most annoying players to play against. He's so stubborn, man. <laughs> Um, he's even making a monastery back here. And he's walling in the villagers. Uh, I don't know why he's walked or rolled around with the mango. That was probably a misclick. Okay, and he also loses the villain there. He really... I think this is... I think this is the end for this. Yeah, the villager's dead. Okay, Zupi will clean that up. My god. Oh, man. This, this has been... My head is going rounds and rounds in circles, but in a good way. This this has been incredible. It really has. But I think Zupi's economy is, is really what's going to do it here. 16 farms for loot, for uh, Lix. 36 on food for Zupi. That includes the Malay fish traps, which I said we probably wouldn't see. This is an area that Lix will contest for. Um, this is an area that Lix is contesting for with crossbows and monks, actually. And... What? Wait, did that get converted or no? I don't think it did. What got converted? Oh, an elephant at the same time. Okay. Amazing game. But, guys, I think this is what you do if you're in Zoopy's shoes. You're secure on land for the most part. The way that Lix comes back into this is by taking the center control. If you control the center, there should be no way that Lix can really harass you. 
So I would just prep a ton of docks here. I would prep a ton of docks here. I would go to the Imperial Age. You do need a castle for Thal Thal Thalassocracy, or however you say that tech. You know what I mean. The harbor tech, okay? Um, because Elix is actually researching that now. But you should be able to get to the Imperial Age first. <gasps> but if Lix castles... Hold on a second. Zoopy's just about to come onto water. Guys, I think this, this changes the game. If this castle gets denied, Zoopy has a very big positional lead in this game. I think Lix knew it, and he wanted to just take a risk after falling behind with economy. No, I just... I don't see how that castle ever goes up there. Alright, here come the fires. This is why I mentioned why fish traps might not be the wisest idea. But, um, you know, the fish traps are still alive, actually. Take those out. And, oh, no, licks, 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 licks. Wait, you could castle here. If you wanted to, you could actually castle this amphibious terrain. Ah, or you build a dock first. Your dock is now a weapon. Alright, one dock is up. That will help. Another dock will be going up. That will help. And then can you build it? Then can you build the castle? <laughs> He's sure going to try. Guys, guys, I don't know if you have known this because I haven't really been paying attention. But Lix has continued to keep Zoopy off of his stones. That's the difference. Zoopy can't make a castle for Trebs. Zoopy can't make a castle for Harbors. Lix could win this. You're kidding me. It's like every single strategy that Lix had in mind, it set up the next strategy. It set up the next position. But because of the annoying conversions and monks and elephants and rams and villagers and towers and everything in that area, Zoopy is ahead. But he can't take Licks out of the center. I am near speechless at this point. This this is an amazing, amazing game. Like was so well thought out from both of them. Yeah, Zoopy is imp, but he is 500 stone away from a castle. I just wonder how big a deal that's going to be. Because if he can't push, it gives Licks time. And there's that elephant that he converted earlier, <laughs> attacking his stone miners. You can tell Zoopy realizes that's a problem. Oh boy. He's repairing the harbor. 150 population for Zoopy, 136 for Lix. Now I see buildings in the center. These, this is nice actually. Um, you, again, you can do that. I think capped ram is probably what he's thinking. I hope he doesn't go for Bombard Cannon. It's a bit risky, but... He he doesn't have chemistry yet. I guess he can't do that. Okay, this has been cleared up for the most part. Alright, that, that's good. So now Zuby can breathe a little bit. But now, Lix just bought himself so much freaking time, it's unreal. Just because he got the castle up there. Now we have a castle here for Zuby. Which I think is important. I would have preferred... I guess building it here is rough. So yeah, this is probably a good castle just to protect that flank. It's 26 military versus 25. Lix is going to come on water too. And Lix has the castle. I am going to be gutted for Zoopy if he loses this. Because he... He had the chance. Um, I would still say that he's ahead, but... What I'm worried about is the fact that Lix... Seems to... He has he has map control in mind. This whole time he's had map control in mind. Now he's sending archers over here to deal with this. Like it's, it's slowly going into Lix's control. Lix has dock techs on the way. He has some trebs out. Uh, maybe bombard cannons will work for Zoopy here. Don't see enough navy from Lix to contest that. And there you go, Zoopy. Nice. Nice. Took out one trebuchet. Okay, here... Oh, wow. Oh, we have fast fires. 
fast fires, and that will also surprise Zupi. Does he have enough? Crossbows over here, Mangonel over here, getting big kills. Lix has gained an eco lead. Lix has gained an eco lead. But he does not have stone income, so he's buying stone to repair that castle. He's producing archers over here! He's attacking with archers oh, over here! So For all we know, he's still in the back of the <laughs> Zoopy's base converting stuff. And, oh no, these bombard cannons are so expensive! Oh boy. Yeah, Alright, he lost one. One of four. But he's held. And now he's also researching uh, the harbor tech. I think rams would maybe make more sense, but Malay don't get siege ram. What a ridiculous game. Zupi has more military, or specifically more navy, right? He doesn't have as much on the side, but here comes something. Here he hasn't dealt with yet. This is crazy. This this is an unbelievable level. Lix is moving around constantly. And Zupi takes the castle out, guys. He'll start taking the docks out. If it's navy, if if um, Zupi is stabilizing on the flanks, it's navy numbers that matter most, or siege in this case. This is not ideal. This is not ideal. But I think this castle will stop Lix from doing too much more. And Lix, who has now completed Galleon. He does not have the production of navy right now. And he's losing castles. He knows how important this gold is in the center. 160 villagers for Lix? Are you kidding me? That's that's when you know you're very much in cruise control and not paying very close attention to, to anything except microing nonstop. Still pumping out bills with 160 villagers. That's a lot. Oh no. The docks. Be careful. Yeah, this is good. Good micro from Zupi. Wow. Well, more docks. I'm surprised at Lix. He has so many villagers. He should be making docks faster. Really surprised he's not. And now a castle from Zupi. So this was like a king of the hill game in many ways. Lix went to the center first. Zupi didn't commit as much to the middle until it mattered most. Now, if his castle will stay up, I'm not sure yet, but it's on the way up. And then you have Lix being annoying back here with a bomber cannon and arbalest. He's still being annoying over here with skirmishers. He's added a treb, guys. I'm losing my mind here. Lix could actually start to chip away at Zupi on the flanks. Lix is everywhere. It's just Zupi has most... Most of what he has is in the center. But he needs to hold the sides. This is a concern. This right here. If those castles eventually go down, the monastery's there, there's eco there. Um, oh, nice cleanup though, Zupi. Oh, there's elite cram, but nope. He took care of a bomber cannon. Alright, nice job. Dock after dock is getting shot down by the bombard cannons. This game might go on forever because it's so hard to push Malay with those docks. <laughs> um, but if it goes on forever, it, it should be easier for Zupi to hold if he has the center more secured with docks. I believe it is 2-2 two two with relics at the moment. Oh god. Oh no. See, this is what happens. You look away for one second. Actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, look away more, Zupi. That ended up being very good. Whoa! Um, the relics, I know there's a relic down here. I think Lix has two? Yeah, Lix has two and so does Zupi, so relic counts similar. I was worried when Zupi started making bomber cannons because I felt like he would lose them, but he has microed them so well. With the exception of a moment or two, he's, he's microed the bomber cannons incredibly well. Uh, he does need some on this side, though, which he will do because he's, he's making siege workshops here. Is there any way that Lix wins this if he does not have the middle, guys? I feel like it's his only way, 
I feel like his only way is to have a strong push on the side right now. Almost distract Zupi and then take the middle back. But I think the middle on a map like this, especially in a melee war, is more important than anything else. Hmm. Wow, that's two-handed swordsman's a bit tough. A two-handed swordsman only makes sense from the winner's position. But the winner on this map is going to have gold. So it's it's better to go other options, I think, Hank. Like, when would you make two-handed swordsman? When your opponent's full skirm. Wait a second. Wait a second. Lix. Lix is researching it. <laughs> no way! And Lix has Trebs on the right side! And now, wait, think about this for a second. If Lix is not concerned about the center anymore, Zupi has like 50 pop in the center he can't use elsewhere. What is happening? Lix was at 160 villagers a moment ago. He took out both the castles on this flank. Also, he will find this relic eventually. Also, low elo legend lumber camp. That's just because he's focused so much elsewhere. If you're Zupi, you still have to hold the right side and take out all the docks out of the center. It will just take forever. And I guess it, it will or was force levy for Lix. I didn't see him research it, but I imagine he must have. If he has the two-handed swordsman on the way, can we just bring up the fact that I said it wouldn't really be a good idea? If you were behind, and then immediately the person who was behind decided to do that. I I feel like, I always say games aren't rigged, but I feel like sometimes they're rigged against me. Like, it was a moderator who brought that up. Did Robo spread some information to that moderator? So I would give my opinion, which Robo probably already knows. Just so I'd look bad. Is that is that what just happened there? Lix is so annoying. I think MBL called him a rat once. <laughs> MBL's like, you stubborn little rat. Which is funny, because MBL doesn't like it when I call people cockroaches, so... Rat, cockroach, okay, MBL. But, um... I think Lix... Who has less military... Is doing this. I mean, this monastery is the biggest thing. Right, if Lix gets four or five relics, it should be five if he takes these two and the one in the cell. It might be okay without the sensor? Is he okay without the sensor? This is the question I don't have answers to. Because the sensor should be important because of all that gold. It should be important because of all the control it gives you. Yeah, Force Levy makes a ton of sense if you're in Zupi's shoes. But he also just lost all... Look how many farms. He had 22 farms here. He's making- oh, oh wait, hold on a second. He's making Elite Karambit. Elite Karambits are no joke. And this is a lot of skirmishers. But also two-handed swordsmen. And they also don't cost gold. See barracks on this side just for defense for licks. Yep, we'll see Force Levy in full effect here. Oh boy. Alright guys, you have to put all of your life savings on one player right now. Lix or Zupi. Choose. Choose quickly before we see how this fight goes. Choose. All of your life savings. You guys say Lix. Alright, awesome. If Zupi wins, I'll send you my PayPal. Ooh, boy. What is getting shot there? What? 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 Did you see that? I think that's a bug. I think when units go into rams, and hop out of rams, they disappear. At least for spectating. Keep in mind that Zupi could easily go for Force Levy himself. He still has the gold in the center. He is going to deal with this, finally. I, I hope- I actually hope the ram takes out the range, because otherwise it's really unfortunate. It should. Zupi is holding the right side! He's holding the right side, he's still been clearing out the center, and now he's going to dock Lix to death. Uh, guys, I would not recommend gambling your money away, okay? If you're considering going to the casino, I would not 
recommend doing that because a lot of you guys have made poor decisions today. Maybe. Maybe not. I, I don't know. Um, these relics? Or one of the relics? Lix does have. I, I really wish that Zupi could get Force Levy himself, though. Honestly, I think adding fish traps instead of farmers would, wouldn't be a bad idea either. <laughs> Two handed swordsmen are just attacking bills. This is this is so dumb. Malaya ridiculous. You have two-handed swordsmen fighting next to galleons to kill villagers that are repairing docks. In what other match are you going to see that? Lix has 161 population. The real difference here is the lack of military for Lix. And a lot of that's in the center. Now Karambits will start coming in. Imagine if Zupi had his monastery on the other side or something, right? Would have made such a big difference for him. He seems to really be committed to making arbs. I mean, he has the golds. Karambit arb is probably the best thing you could do. It's much better than skirmisher two-handed swordsman, I would say. Yeah, and Lix will lose that castle! I think I think that Zupi's gonna do it here. Watch this. Watch this fight on this side. When the Karambits are in front of the Arbs, I think this is going to be a, a pretty good fight for Zupi. He's beginning to dock here. That will help out a bit. Here you have the raids. There you had the micro. I just caught the tail end of that. Do I see fishing ships for, for Lix right now? <laughs> He's adding fishing ships here. <laughs> That's amazing, he's adding fishing ships here so he can fish trap. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this is crazy. Is Vikings OP on this map? Is Persians OP on this map? Is Malay OP on this map? No one seems to be able to finish the other off. I don't know, does anyone else kind of hate the Arb choice? I feel like... You could just make bombard cannons with the golds. It's, it's just a bit risky. It's it's kind of difficult to control because there's so many skirmishers and bombard cannons out here. You guys don't hate it? You like it? He has 30 here. As long as he has a buffer, he's good. A few Karambit warriors in front at all times. And he's good. Also, he's, he's, with these docks, he's not just using them as harbors, but he's creating galleons. Yeah, and he's suffocating Lix. I don't know where Lix's score is coming from right now. Score can be a very deceiving stat. Might just be text that he's researched. I would send over Trebs this way if I'm Zupi. Trebs or Rams and just start taking out these buildings. Oh, wow. Wouldn't it be something if Zupi takes the relics away from Lix now? It's a relic swap. Oh, there's another monastery down here for Lix. Okay, so he officially has all five relics. Wait. Wait. No, he has four relics. Did Zupi get one? Where? Where is it? Is it on the way back? Oh, there it is. Five. Okay, he'll have five soon. There's still plenty of gold in the center, though. I'm just waiting for Zupi. I'm waiting for this water control to matter. This really should be played on 300 pop. <laughs> if this map was played on 300 pop, I think someone would have won by now. It's just the fact that you can only get so much military on the map. But yeah, okay, from five relics down to three now for Lix. Uh, and maybe Zupi will snag those. And now Zupi is researching forced levy. All right. These Karambits look awesome. Can we salute the Karambits for looking badass? They kind of look tired. But I guess they are... They, they're not... They're either tired or those are really heavy weapons. Slicing and dicing. Slicing and dicing the wood. Which could be a big concern for Lix soon. Yeah, it's actually the biggest concern. He needs wood over here. And he needs the wood over here. Oh, <laughs> 
Zoopy has 170 pop and Lix has 190. Malay need to delay, Malay are impossible to kill, and both players are Malay. Whose home map was this again? I guess this was Lix's home map, right? Well, he's not going to give up easily, that's for sure. And he has taken a lot of, of map away. In fact, there's a whole lot more red controlling the map than blue. Yeah. But wait a second, wait a second, the Karambits arrived! This could be huge! I think all of those trebs will be finished off. Oh, you cannot afford to lose those trebuchets, Licks. You might have some relics, but you do not have control <clears throat> of the center where all the extra gold is. That hurts. That hurts big time. The skirms will melt. The trebs will be taken out. Slow. It's like a slow crawl because Zuby has so much navy in the center, he can't use it all times. Kind of feel bad for the guy, <laughs> but he's he's sticking to the karambit choice. Normally, if you have gold, sticking with karambit is good. I do think that Lix did the right move here with the fist traps. I think that's better than farms. So Zupi's had a lot of time to do that. It's also easier to protect than it is the farms, which he you actually hear the farms expiring for him right now. What a stupid long game. Yep. This is crazy. Look north, ball of red. Look north, ball of red. Are you talking about what was here a moment ago? I don't see any balls of red up here. Yeah, I mean, this is what's going to go down. I think this might come down to, to pure mobility of the Krambits. If the Krambits are faster, maybe you can raid more. And um, just just slowly chip away at the buildings, but now gold will become a factor. These relics still not something that Zupi has tried to collect. Zupi also doesn't seem too concerned about taking out this castle, which kind of bothers me. I feel like he could do that, but you do have to remember the Karambits, they they cost gold. The two-handed swordsmen and skirmishers do not. That might be something that Lix, is, Lix has in the back of his mind right now. 92 military for Zupi, about 30 of that's on water, I think. I think that's probably close to it. Maybe 25. Yeah, 20, 25. And I still like Karambits. Like a mix of Karambits and Two-Handed Swordsman is way better than Two-Handed Swordsman and Skirmisher. Sure, this is Lix's resources. So, he, he has gold in the form of three relics, and he's hoping to get these, I'm sure, when he sees an opportunity. Um, he's chopping wood here, and here, and here. And so, that is a concern for both of them now. Uh, but Zupi seems to have that this corner locked down in the north, so I don't really see a concern uh, or a reason for him to be concerned about getting raided there. Just, just make trebs. Honestly, Zupi, just just make a trap and take out that castle. I think that would be fun. And we'll see Lex yeah. just use his land military against the navy, which is a losing battle. Oh, but Zupi's sending in a monk, so maybe he'll spot that. Uh, oh, wait, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, no way! He's distracting the navy! Oh, what a play, dude. I thought that he just made a misplay and genuinely wanted to fight the navy, but he wanted to distract the navy, and now he has the relics going to the back corner. He will have all five relics, but guys, his population is, is abysmal, abysmal, and the bombard cannon, dead. The navy, or sorry, the army over here, dead. The lumberjacks over here, dead. Farmers over here, dead. He paid a huge price for that. He's below 100 pop just like that. And the Karambits are everywhere. We're going to a game five, guys. We are going to a game five. Someone in the Twitch chat said a moment ago, they, they said that they think both of these players are top 20. I would agree. There's a lot of players in this qualifier who are uh, top 20, right? Because you have eight players guaranteed main event spots. Yep. Only 16 will play in the main event. Eight more are here to qualify. 
I think I do agree though. I think both of them, the fact that they have to play each other in round one is probably a nightmare for them because they're so closely matched. It's 108 military to 37. I think if Lix didn't have the relics, he would have definitely called it. And he will lose this one. Nah, Lix. I, I just I just don't see it, man. I just don't see it. The population will drop more because the Krambits are making the way back here. Uh, <laughs> house wall. Impressive. But the spam continues. What do relics do? Relics give you a slow trickle of gold. So in late game, relics are very important. But when you don't have... When you're 70 military behinds, I really don't care how much gold income you have. You're not going to be able to produce the amount of units you need and now the monastery, which has those four relics, is being targeted by the Karambits. Dude, this has been funny. This has been funny. These relics have seen the world. They got to travel in their retirement. My goodness. Oh wait, just repairing it. That won't work. Wow, Zupi even realizes and sends a few Karambits to kill the repair bills. Wow. And remember for Zupi, he had all that gold in the center, so he doesn't really need the relics. And so it's not there's no risk that he won't be able to produce anymore. What a game! Zupi has climbed back after losing the first two. We're going to a game five. We are going to a game five. Let's go. Awesome, man. So yesterday we had a round one best of five go to five games. Today we will have a round one best of five go to five games. Whew. This, this, uh, this qualifier is going to break so many hearts. My goodness. Like, whoever loses this, they could perform well in the main event. Like, these are players who can, who can take games off of players who are in the main event. Uh, I'm curious, though, to see what the statistics look like there. Um, 910 kills for Zupi. 718 units lost. Largest army was important. He had way more gold. Yeah, so he said, forget about the relics. I don't care. I had way more gold because of the sensor. He still should have gotten them. I can agree with you guys on that. Just to make sure that that potential wasn't there for Lix. My goodness. Um, the relic gold for Lix just gave him about 2,500 more. And look at this up and down timeline for that game. Awesome. Well, uh, I've been pleased so far with the action. Um, I don't want you guys to wait too long. I actually do need to step away for just a moment. I've been casting for five hours. Um, I, I'm going to step away for 30 seconds, okay, before we start the next game. Um, so don't go anywhere. Game five will be on Slopes, which is a new Hidden Cup 3 map. It was the other home map pick for Licks. Okay, thank you for waiting. Thank you for the official countdown chat. You guys are the best. Um, wow. So, the next map is probably more enjoyable to watch in good games. Let's do this. Ladies and gents of the interwebs, I don't know if you're watching on my Zanga page, which is very much alive and well. My MySpace page? Um, you might be watching on LinkedIn right now. Wherever you're watching, thank you for being here. Round one, best of five, between Lix and Zupi. Lix was up 
Zupi, the beast from Finland, has climbed back. The score is 2-2. Two two. Winner of this moves on to the next round. And then if they win that best of seven, they're in the main event for Hidden Cup 3. In Hidden Cup 3, players do not play under their usernames. They are given a username. They don't know who they're playing. We don't know who we're watching. So please pay attention to the player characteristics because on March 19th through the 22nd, that will be huge. This map is a new map that came with Hidden Cup 3. It's called Slopes. Zupi has gone for Huns, and he is a beast of a Huns player. And Lix has gone for Indians. So, you have Shorefish in the east and west, which makes Indians a strong pick for this. And then you have Deer in the north and the south on this map. It's very exposed, though. So if you know someone picks Indians, you know they're probably going for the Shorefish. You might want to target them at some point in the game. Now, I've seen this matchup on regular maps before. I've seen this matchup on Arabia before. Uh, and Indians tend to excel. But on regular maps, Indians can wall really easily. And then I think Indians, if they get to a lot of camels, that pretty much takes care of the Hun Knights. That also takes care of the Hun Cav Archers. But this is not a map that you can wall comfortably. Not at all. Uh, and it's not a map that you can just hide hide behind walls and boom, because the golds can be exposed. Uh, Zupi's gold is actually a bit better, but it's very open on the front. Now, by a show of salutes in the chat, um, how many people saw the amazing game earlier today with Vinchester against, um, shoot, I've forgotten the guy's name already, FedEx. Were you there for that? Okay, so that game was an hour and a half long, and we saw one player take the center, where there's tons of gold, stones, and wood lines, and we saw the other player expand to the sides, but pay a price for that. It was such an amazing game. Highly recommend, like, this map really tickles your fancy, and you're interested in seeing more, uh, checking out that game. And obviously, it'll be on YouTube later, okay? Um, oh, but it's time to relax a little bit. Oh my god, what a series. What a series. I am so happy with how these games have gone. I, I, I can't stress enough how important it is to the age scene that we have players like Lix, like Zupi, like everyone in the qualifier playing more and having opportunities to get into events. Because I think it it obviously has motivated them to to practice and look at the maps because they're picking the new maps, right? There's strategy involved. And then also I think that if you want a healthy scene, you need to have fresh blood, right? You need to have new names. So I, I am going to feel really bad whoever loses this. Zupi was up two games. Um, or sorry, Lix was up two games. So if he goes down, feels bad for him. And if Zupi goes down, he climbed it back just to lose in game 5. That's not easy. But he scouted the mill. So he knows the villagers are on shorefish. Indian villagers have a uh, shorefish bonus. Which I, I believe, I believe, gives them faster hunt than Mongols. Or no, sorry, let's back up. I believe that food income from villagers on shorefish is faster than Mongols on hunt. It's very close. Zupi could have gone for Mongols, though, right? Or was that banned? Did he pick Mongols at all? Let's see. Game 1, he went Aztecs. Game 2, he went Japanese. Game 3, he went... I just I feel like Mongols could be a strong pick, but Huns are a whole lot more flexible in the mid-game. I think that Lix did a global ban on Mongols. And I, yes, I think that's what it was. Hold on, let me let me double check here. I don't want to show you my private messages. Uh, I don't want you guys to see all the nudes, but... Okay, Zupi globally banned Mayans. And Lix globally banned Italians. So, Mongols are actually available for Zupi if he wanted to. So, he really feels like Huns are better. And I, I feel like the mid-game they're better, for sure. Okay. Yeah, Lix played Mongols, but it's hidden civilization, no repeat. So you can choose a civ your opponent has chosen. You just can't repeat it. That's how it's structured. And then there's one global ban for each player. For the main event, everything's going to look different. Um, I think this looks pretty badass for a qualifier, but um, believe me when I say everything will be more structured and you guys will know more of what's going on. TNPNEO says, T90, how are the eight already qualified players determined? Every previous participant in Hidden Cup 2... Uh, voted on their top eight in the world. And that's how we got those eight. 
the rest had to qualify. Before the action gets underway- Oh, guys! Guys! What is Zupi doing right now? He's going to gold. Why do you think he's going to gold? Wait a second. Why is he going to gold? Is he actually going to take the golds? Because it's really weird he's taking the forward gold, if so. I think he wants to pressure this area because he knows the importance of that for Lix. Okay, so he, you know what? I think he's still going scouts. I got confused for a second. I think he's still going scouts. So he's just, he just needed, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, he just needed to do something with those villagers. He wanted a stable that was really far forward. He's still going scouts. Meanwhile, the stable's already up for Lix, and at least for the next two to three minutes, expect Indians to be very strong. And while wow, Lix is full walling his base, it seems a bit more difficult to wall if you're Zupi. But I think the key thing here is when you're up so much faster with Indians, you don't have to worry about a lot of pressure coming in, so you can comfortably do what he's done here. Ooh! Ooh! If you get a single archer out with scouts and spearmen and go immediately to the shorefish, can you catch Indians off guard? Lix has not scouted this, guys. He knows this is important to defend. He has the spearmen there. Okay, here he comes. He will see the archery range. That means he needs an immediate archery range for skirmishers then. Zupi has walled in his villagers. Also, Lix just got housed at the, for um, a moment. Huns don't have to worry about that. What do we have in here? Three spears and two archers. Yeah, he's going to try and punish the Indian player for doing the obvious. I think Lix needs to bail. Yeah, Lix is bailing. Okay, so Lix scouted it, knows that he's exposed there, and just leaves. Interesting. Oh my god, there's so many areas you need to wall on this map. It's crazy. You constantly are chopping through wood lines. Zoopy sees this. He should double check the wood line and realize he is over chopped on both sides, actually. And he does not realize that, actually. So that hurts. Zoopy will lose that villager. What? I thought this guy was rusty. I thought this guy was rusty, man! Dude! That was a sick play from Zupi. You would not expect that from Zupi, but he pulled it off. Now, keep in mind, he has not taken the deer, he has not taken the shorefish on a map where that can be a huge tease. It can be very tempting. Well played. Way to go, nerd. Alright, well, the villager just goes back to work, and the other villager's wall? Lix has got to be a bit confused. Like, wait, what? He didn't take the shorefish at all? What? Okay, now we have a blacksmith for Zupi. So I, I would say that it was not successful. He, he didn't kill any villagers, but he at least took Lix away from the shorefish. And Zupi's triple checking that too. And Lix, he only has scouts on the field, and then he has the single archer. And if he loses this archer, this could be trouble. I feel like this is forward tower territory. If Zupi thinks about it, I feel like he might come forward with four bills and tower that. It's risky to send units forward, but he's producing so many scouts and so many archers, so many spears. I think he should try his best to possibly punish Lix for not making as much military and opting for the economy. So right now, Lix has a whole lot more food. He want, probably wants to go Castle Age. And oh my god, the army's in! The army is in! This could be the series right here. At the moment, Lix cannot take any gold. All the gold is forward. He also received a hit from a spearman. We might see these villagers come forward, like I said, or maybe they're chopping the stragglers. I'm not sure, but Zupi, he had a strategy prepared against one of the top tier civilizations on this map. We saw Indians, we saw Mongols on this. Huns are always good. And he... he bails? No, no, he's he's acting like he's bailing. I love that. I love that. Nope, I'm actually sticking around. Sorry. Uh, I just want to take out your skirmishers with my scouts. Now, it's a bit risky, though, because he did lose a scout or two. He lost an archer or two, so maybe now he bails and backs up. Okay, I really wish 
Zupi would have towered there, but I could see the risk in doing so. Wait. Yeah, he's going to do it now. Okay, I think he was really worried about the scout numbers from Lix. Well played from Lix. He didn't lose a villager. He did lose some army numbers, but 5-3 KD, it feels like there's been a whole lot more action than that in this game. He has enough skirms, archers, and scouts to definitely consider taking a fight against Zupi. And Zupi will tower, so will Lix notice this? Lix, who is also creating more scouts and getting armor for his scouts. Okay, he sees the vills. Um, they're both getting bloodlines. Zupi knows he's been spotted. And he will place the tower there, which I really like. Will Lix commit to a fight here? Oh my god. Armor's in on the scouts. He has less of them. And there's more archers in the mix for Zupi. And there's some spears in there too. I feel like this fight will be better for Zupi. It should be better for Zupi. Oh my goodness. Now yes, Lix gets the tower up. But it's still going to harass the gold, and Zupi's still going to have a whole lot of presence here. It's 57 military for Zupi, 47 for Lix. Lix is producing another stable. Guys, we're going to see full feudal from both, possibly. He's, he's going to produce more scouts, archers, everything. Now, he noticed he had overchopped here. How did he not lose that bill? Okay, he's lost that bill. He could lose this fi- Oh, it's a disaster for Lix! The army's gonna come in! It's 22 military versus 11! And the villagers here are repairing and being extra annoying, too. Panic time for Lix. Stone walls. Stone gates, even. And gates do not have armor if they're partially built now. I think that the army can go through here pretty quickly. Crazy. Crazy performance from Zupi. Wait a second! Wait a second! What is happening here? Oh my god! Zupi had everything forward, and Lix is like, surprise! Now he's on Zupi! Oh my god, the Vil count is kind of even now, and now Zupi doesn't have anything to defend from this! Wow, that was such sick game sense, because I could you could have easily justified going home and defending yourself there, Lix. But instead, you went forward, and now it's Zupi he's kind of on the back foot. Wow. What a game. What a map. What amazing players we have here. Now, here's the deal. These scouts, they have bloodlines and they have armor. I think that these scouts can clear up this army. And the archers are underneath the tower. What is happening? Send help. My brain cannot fathom the amount of action we are seeing here. And if you think that's an, if you think that's extreme, we have another army from Lix on this side now. So we have an army here, which Zupi was hunting for. And now Zupi sees this, which I think he needs to engage against now and probably use these scouts as well. Unbelievable game right now. Unbelievable. Uh, but a lot of those archers died for Zupi. He needs to deal with this force quickly. Oh, this is so messy. Guys, Zupi's military population is extremely low, though. Extremely low. We're looking at 18 military for Lix and 6 for Zupi. What on earth? Oh, and these two villagers have been found. This is crazy. So on one hand, you, you kind of would favor the, the Hun player in all-in feudals because they don't have to build houses, their stables produce faster... Uh, but on the other hand, Indians also have cheap villagers. And so you you might be able to get away with floating more food. Like, Lix now has 600 food. So he might be in a position to click up to Castle Age, where Zupi... He's not. He's not at all, guys. I thought Lix had lost. Like, when, when Zupi took that big fight, I, I thought, oh, this is game over for Lix. But lo and behold, he went forward and he hit the Golden Stone both. Zupi is researching Wheelbarrow. He does have some archers, but guys, Lix at home. He has 10 military, and he's on his way to Castle Age. Danger for Zupi. How can you deal with crossbows in this situation? 
I don't think, well, no, hold on. You can tower, you can tower. So you tower here, you might need a tower there as well. Towers on the farms, there's a lot of exposed areas. And then the best thing you can probably do is try and keep Licks at home with whatever military you do have. But this, pay your specs. She's dead. Oh, this archer's dead. The next archer's dead. Everything dead. Dead, dead, dead. 44 kills for Licks and 38 deaths. Maybe Lix was just teasing him, you know? It's like, ha, <laughs> you thought you were gonna come back. You thought you were gonna come back. I just, I had all day today. <laughs> I just, I just wanted something to do. I got sick of playing Team Islands on the ladder because nobody wants to play that. So I decided to just draw out these tournament games longer so I wouldn't have to play that crappy map. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's fine. Sick, man. Well, Zoopy's on the way up. So this is definitely within reach. I would still say that there's been more benefit to Indians up to this point. Indians will have even cheaper villas and castle age, but Hun's castle age, way better than Indians. That's when the cab archers come into play. That's when the mobility is even more obvious. All right, Zoopy's probably looking for that army. He sees the armies on the way now. His heart's probably beating out of his chest. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Mm. Seems like he will go for crossbow. He has three ranges. I think it makes sense to go crossbow and then into cav archers. And that's a whole lot of T90 farms. Uh, Garrison in the towers. And you know what? Zoopy might be okay with this after it's all said and done. Obviously, he's taking losses. Obviously, he's behind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lix just kept moving. That was so good from Lix to just keep moving and continue to hit the villagers. I think it's worth the army loss now. 51 villagers for Lix. 39 for Zoopy. That was some insane value. That and Zoopy had to build three towers to deal with that army. All right. 49 pop for Zoopy. It is 60 for Lix. Lix is building a town center in the center. He's made camels. Nothing else. No cav archers, no more archers. Oh, that's a lot of camels, though. That's a dangerous amount of camels. And Indian camels have the extra pierce armor? I wonder if Zupi. Sorry, that's been an issue for me all day. I wonder if Zupi continues to add crossbows. Yeah, if you're expecting camels... You can kind of justify making crossbows instead of cav archers. Because the... The camels don't have any bonus against the, uh... Why does that keep happening? I'm so sorry, it's a mouse issue, maybe. Uh, they don't have any uh, as big a bonus against the crossbows. But there's st still, crossbows are very slow. Crossbows have the additional range, but they don't have as much firepower. And I think you need to use speed here. Really comes down to the faster castle time for Lix, because now he's able to to really dictate the pace of this one. And you see that do... We have another best of five. This is going to be rough. Um, you see him doing that now. Immediately moving out. But uh, pays a bit of a price here. Yeah, it seems like he's just waiting for his camels to come back. Yep, very much is. Zupi is 15 villagers behind a civilization that has cheaper villagers to create more. This this is an uphill battle. I I just guys, I'm looking at Zupi's position right now. He has not expanded at all on a map where you kind of need to. He'll lose his archer range to camels on the front. I think Zupi's dead. I think he's genuinely dead. The the vil count will continue to rise for Lix. It won't for Zupi. The cav archers already aren't enough to deal with the power of Indians. And now that archer range will go down, which will hurt production even more. <laughs> Imagine fighting back after losing the first two games, taking it to a game five to just lose anyway. Oh, that's so brutal. But it's 66 villagers to 48. I mean, what do you do here? 
I'm I'm struggling for ideas. Maybe he called Rubenstock and Rubenstock said that he should drop a TC. That would definitely not work. Can't wait to see Rubenstock in his best of five, which I think is tomorrow. Okay, okay, so here we go. It's all about the micro. What type of micro can you have against this many camels and crossbows? And Lix is creating more crossbows and has ballistics, by the way. This guy's not messing around. Yes, he's adding eco. He's also adding tons of military. I think Lix knows he's way ahead. That's why he's attacking the, the range. You can't fight my army, so I'll make you fight my army and I'll take out your archer ranges. Rubenstock is the third set tomorrow. Awesome. Yeah, the full schedule is posted below the stream. I don't have it all memorized, though. Forward Siege Workshop right in front of that TC. Uh, now you start asking questions. Should I have gone Mongols? Because I had Mongols open on a map with Hunts. Would Mongols perform better here than Hunts? Should I have towered my base? Because he definitely did not expect that counter... Excuse me, that counter attack that Lix went for. Lix has 30 more villagers now. 30 more. It's 54 to 84. That is insane. What a boom from Lix we have here. <laughs> he has as many... He has like half as many farmers as Zupi even has villagers right now. And Lix, and it has to be said, he's getting his third relic. This guy knows the maps, man. He's about to get... Wow, he's about to get four relics. At 37 minutes. FedEx, FedEx should watch this game. <laughs> Wait, no, it wasn't FedEx. FedEx was the one with the trebs. Who was the one with the relic? Tim. It was Tim, yeah. It was Tim the other day. I mean, Tim, it's realistic that Tim and Lix could both make it into Hidden Cup 3. Spoilers. Okay, I'm going to spoil results that already happens and will be on YouTube, so maybe mute the stream. But Tim won his round 3 2. I. You guys are going to tell me to stop it and stop calling it early, but guys, Zoopy's dead. The next five minutes is just for us to to cry and mope around and feel bad for the guy. Like, he's dead. He's absolutely dead. And Lix is going to win this. Oh, wait. FedEx is in the chat. He says, I'm watching. I'm. <laughs> He says I'm watching, fucker. <laughs> FedEx, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was just it was just a joke. We love you, FedEx. Sick game. Game three was sick. I didn't realize he was there. Some guy named Federico is very mad at me, so <laughs> Oh boy. Hey uh I was looking I was wondering if you could train me in chess. I heard you're pretty good. Do you think you could find some time to train me for free? For the nice things I've said about you? I'll wait on his response. <laughs> Something tells me he's gonna say no. Oh man. I love, I, I really love how Lix has played this though. He could have easily stopped making crossbows. He could have justified that. But he did it anyways because it canceled out the pikeman opportunity. Man, Bible thumps in the chat for Zoopy and salutes in the chat for Lix. What a series. This was, in my opinion, the series of the qualifiers so far. Um, we had an amazing set between Tim and between Angelina Jolie. Um, all of these are rewatchable. Like, all of these I'm going to reference the next time we do a big tournament with these players. Or, um, you know, like, obviously Lix moves on, so we'll reference some of these games. But the coolest thing to me is that we're seeing the new maps as home maps. There's a lot of old classic maps players are not choosing. Like, we haven't seen Cross yet. That's something. Um, it, it goes to show that some players are preparing and I think the maps have proved to be really good as well Which is good for me because well, we might still make some adjustments before the main event in March But I don't think we'll need to make a lot what a game now in this game I think it all came down to that the presence of mind from Lix to counter because he was under so much pressure and he decided right then and there he had already received damage and it would be it wouldn't necessarily be a waste of time to attack Zoop, what Zoopy had here, but that would mean that Zoopy would hold the lead. So he realized, I took damage here. If I attack him, Zoopy will just flee, 
and maintain his lead. So instead, I'm going to send everything forward. It's a bit risky, but it paid off, man. And then uh, he had more food banked up. Uh, he actually produced a lot less scouts, which helped. And he got to crossbow, and he just snowballed that into a victory. Uh, insane, though. Insane game. Look at that KD. So close. But it was always going to be the economy from Licks. Uh, more food, more wood, more stone, and more gold collected. How many people today um, have never seen one of these players? Anyone? Um, I always look to my chat and I see how many gray sub badges are out there. Normally that means that someone's on the newer side. Um, so if you have not seen these players or maybe some of the other names that are coming up in the qualifier, we have a lot of amazing players in this community. And uh, that was on full display in that best of five. 